the hair of the story of Premier 2. I've got it, I've got it, it's, it's, yeah, I'm looking for a biggest dickest. I, I, I...
friend who's a gaming wizard sure would help a lot. Can't beat the boss without a team. Half of the friends win indeed. Right there, goof from around the world. Games last fun. All the Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another thrilling edition of Premiere 2. My name is Peter. Thank you for joining me on a blistering hot scorching day in Tokyo, Japan. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Best intro on Twitch. Facts. Best streamer on Twitch. Uh, subjective. So, what's up, guys? It's Diane, a rare scarfless Pete. It's true. When we go with the white button up, I'm going to wear a jacket. <laughs> That's the decision. I've called an audible. I'm now scarfed and jacketed. So that's what we're doing. Why are you wearing so much more clothes if it's hot? It's hot <laughs> out here and cold inside. You know what else is hot? Which is just a just a fireball copper 941 just five gift subs right out the boot thank you buddy appreciate that and you even tossed one to the long-haired fellow that could be me i'm on my way where do you find the energy i have an answer for you it's adhd it's a it's unfortunate but you know how you guys doing how are you guys doing today are you doing good are you doing good i hope so uh, I, it's not white lightning. <laughs> I, hello, nerd. Hello, nerds. Uh, how are you guys doing? Yesterday's stream was amazing. Uh, however, it was, did that just go twice? <laughs> 
I don't know. Maybe I'm having weird s stuff. I don't know what's going on. It's fine. It's fine. We're just going to keep it up. Uh, I don't know what's happening. What's up? What's up? So here's the good news. I, I'm i happy to report that today I actually ventured outside because yesterday we did like that 14 hour. It was actually 13 hour stream, but it was great. It was an awesome stream. What's up? What's up? Happy birthday, Pete. Damn it. Not, do not do this. Do not say that. Do not start with that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Love the pub intro. Such an original idea, Kappa. Love the pixel art for real, by the way. Me too. The Code Stars knocked it out of the park. It's an amazing intro. There's some more surprises coming with that intro, but you're going to have to wait a little bit, but it's hard at work. Oh, Pete's birthday again. So many this year. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday, but I come bearing gifts. I got about six hours of sleep. It was good. I felt rested. And then today I, I met two amazing people who are kind of like what I understand now is like the IRL, you know, the, the godfathers of IRL in Japan. They they know a ton about equipment. They were able to look at Johnny Mole's backpack that he, he designed and built and said, they said, and I quote, they looked at it and they said, this is the best built backpack I've ever seen by a non-professional. That's insanely high praise. That's incredible. So credit to Johnny Mole for being such a just awesome dude, you know, and, and uh, helping us out. Uh, what was I going to tell you guys? There's two things I wanted, but that that's awesome. Uh, hold on a second. I got, I got you this thing to show you, though. Uh, here's the bag. That is amazing. And I'm not 92 by now, goddammit. I'm 97. So one of the things that you got to keep track of, yes, it was Riley and his friends. Well done. You did know that. Uh, they both go by the names. It's Gaijida and Muggles. They're really kind people. They were able to talk to me about setting some of the stuff up or answering any questions. But one of the things that we did do is if you get <laughs> one of the... Hey, thanks. It's just... My phone did it too? Oh, we just thank you, Copper. I think it's just going to thank you endlessly tonight, which is awesome. You deserve it because five gift subs is a very nice thing. I don't know why it keeps repeating it, but I'm very appreciative. Thank you. What's up, Mean PP? So check this out. This is the thing that we're looking for right here. Uh, this allows the cables to stay firmly snug inside this thing so that there's no way... It, it gets disconnected or rips out. It's a very, very crucial piece of equipment that I got to say. I'm super impressed. 3D printed, has my name on it. So if I lose it, which is normal because I'm not very good at keeping things. Uh, but it just it slots in and it's good to go. Did a wicked job on that. He did. And so if we're good, we're good, we're good. We got the, the IRL set up locked and loaded. Should be good to go. And that's what I spent, that's what I spent this afternoon doing. Just reach 50k Koopo coins. We need more redeems. We're all right. We're okay. We don't need any more redeems. We're going to be just fine. In fact, I took one away today, which was the, uh, <laughs> the change scarf. I'm not, okay, guys. Why is it that every time we start the stream, you I just started and you run the intro immediately? It's almost like you're saying that less of me and more of the intro is better. Well, listen to me, loud and clear. You can't control me. Your Koopo coins don't mean shit. I run this sh
Okay, that's enough drinking. Thank you. Thank you. I turned off the hydrates. Toasty. Thank you. Now, I do have one more small piece of exciting news for you guys. Are you ready? Uh, I hope you are because I think, I think you guys might actually like this news. Are you ready? It's coffee. It's coffee. I'm not going to chug coffee. It's not about running the intro again. It's not about a house. It's better. All right, everyone, hold on to your butts. It's just not Irish coffee. No, this is a regular old coffee. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm going to lean in close. So as you know, this Saturday, we're going to Akihabara. Yeah, that's right. Electric Town City. Where all the weebs and nerds go to play. I've invited some friends. First, it'll just be you and me. That's right. Little date for a uh, hundred or so of us. And I'm gonna, after a few hours, I called in my buddy, Dot Decorn Moore. He's gonna come in and show us some places that real weebs go to. Basically things like Mandarake, someone I forgot, and Super Potato. Then after that, we're gonna have some Dijin chai chimes <laughs> we're gonna have some dj times we're gonna crack a few bottles i'm gonna introduce you to hopefully a couple more of my buddies we're gonna have i might go to some pubs might have some pub food and then we're gonna end the stream but wait there's more next tuesday everyone get your your noted emotes it's my favorite was it just capital i don't remember what it is, is it damn it is it i forgot the the noted emote there it is that one Get your noted emotes, because on Tuesday of next week, that's right, Tuesday of next week, I'm going to be going to Sendai, and we're going to have another IRL stream. That's right, that's two IRL streams in four days. And you know who's going to join me in Sendai? No one. Just kidding, Chris. All right, let's go. Let's do it. That's what I'm talking about. Now we've got double the fun. All I got to do is make sure I charge my batteries. That's what I've got to do. The Muppet himself. Actually, I'm the Muppet. He's the affable one. So, yeah, it should be fun. Hell yeah! Please lead him to a healthier food options. I'm going to guarantee you right now, on Tuesday night, we're probably not going to eat healthy. Um... But maybe we're not going to be eating tarantulas either. But what we are going to do is we're going to be having some fun. Uh, Mr. Worldwide, Chris Broad, that's the one. It's not going to be a workout stream. Stop putting punishment. I haven't seen my friend in ages since he jettisoned away from this fine land into the, the United Kingdom. So uh, it's going to be us catching up, taking you guys around Sendai and having some fun. And then who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? But that's next Tuesday. And uh, next, and this coming Saturday, we've got the, the super fun stuff. Pete always makes Mr. Affable look like some depressed old Englishman. You know what I noticed? I don't like to read the comments of a lot of YouTube things because sometimes the very first one I ever saw was, yeah, oh, hell yeah, buddy, Abroad and Macy's. That's right, BJ Breakdown. How you doing, buddy? BJJ, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Breakdown. They can be cruel. I remember the first time I had done a, a live stream with Chris. We put it up on, it was my, it was like my very first live stream on Premiere 2 with Chris at his house. I was so nervous. And somebody, somebody, the very first comment I saw was, hey, that guy is a dead tooth. And I was like, God, God damn it. Yes, I do. Why would you write that? You don't even know the story behind it. What kind of asshole? And <laughs> it was the first comment I saw, and I was like, you know what? I don't want to. I don't. You know what? <laughs> comments. Um. So that would be. What's up, guys? Eccentric. Eccentric. I can't say your name. What's up, Prince? Why do people say random, terrible comments? I don't know. They put the. Um, they put others down so that they feel better. They're punching down. It's the internet. And you know what? I think it did help me get some thick skin, which is nice. But. I did see that someone had mentioned on like one of the comments on on uh, this Connor video that was edited. They were like, well, 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 old Pete, when he showed up, just sucked the life out of Chris. I don't think they're compatible. Looking sharp, Mr. Two. <laughs> Thank you very much. Stop motion to bed. 
I love that. Appreciate that. I love that we're not compatible and yet we're really good friends. <laughs> he literally invited me and yet he, we're not compatible. So you know what? So you can't please everyone. That's that's the idea behind it. You're just going to have to. I didn't. OK, Gyro. God damn it. Um, you know what I mean? So, no, it wasn't the first one, Chobi. It was in a weird like I don't sort by popular. I just sort oh, by banana. accurate. OK. So, he's just using the Dennis system. He might be displaying... I know the Dennis system. I just... It's... I can't remember it right now. Displaying worth a... Neglect. Inspire hope. Separate entirely. All right. Anyway. Um, but I'm going to take Chris out. And he can't say no to the live stream because of, you know... The implication. So, I love you and Chris together. I wish you made more content together. Well, good luck. Or not good luck. Good news. We are. We are making more content together. This Tuesday, content galore. And you know what? I slapped my hand so far, uh, so hard that I, I like numbed one of my fingers when I was excited. I'm gonna make him another way to go. It comes to the stream on the day of my... I don't know. No, 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 he's gonna do what I wanna do. We're not gonna do eating healthy or working out. No, we're gonna drink beers and eat chicken. That's what we're gonna do. And if he doesn't like it, uh, he can sleep with the fish. Okay, I gotta stop doing that. I gotta stop doing that. I gotta stop doing that. It is so fucking stupid. <laughs> okay. Uh, the beard scratch is the only good part. Is this Godfather? I don't know. It's not really. It's no father. It's just it's bad. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? How does this thing get loose? All right. But tonight, we're going to keep it chill. As you know, on this channel, as much as I'm enjoying the IRL shenanigans, gaming comes first. I love video games. I've been playing them goddamn my whole life. Uh, and I think it's going to be fun to visit back to Hollow Knight. I think tonight has the real potential to, if you guys like watching suffering and pain and molding and excuses, well, that ain't tonight because I'm an expert gamer and I'm going to kick this ass of this game. Stories come first. It's true, but I feel like we're all out of stories. I, I told you about the camera. I told you I, 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 I worked out. I, I, I didn't tell you that, but I worked out today a little bit. Not a lot, but I'm getting there. I ate a ham sandwich. I had some vegetables. I t contacted Chris and locked in the Tuesday Stream Arena Cappuccino. I talked to Dot Decor and more and some special other surprise guests for Saturday night, Saturday day. It's it's gonna the Saturday stream will start pretty early if I can manage it, like 2 p.m. maybe. Looking to push it to the limit, right? Just like that guy in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Why does this song always keep going to Outrun? It's like, it's like the AFK music. Now, I'm, there we go, Village theme. So, that's it. That's it. Before we, before we jump into the gaming, anybody have any questions, any concerns, any comments? Now is your time to let me know. Now it's the time. I'm an open book. I don't give you this, this all the time. I'm going to let you guys ask anything you want. The temperatures in Tokyo are absolutely brutal. Your hair looks good tonight. Thank you very much. I, I put in a little extra product called Love. I brushed it and I said, you're going to look good tonight, little guy. All right. What are your thoughts on udon? I love udon. I love it. It's actually pound for pound my favorite noodle. Hoto is my favorite, but it's kind of like only in Yamanashi. Okaidi! Oh, she sounds good. Um, but uh, udon is like my go-to noodle of choice. I love it. I love it. It's so good. I just finished Final Fantasy VII Remake. Man, I don't know if I should jump into the OG. The OG graphics, no voice acting is kind of... Tell you what, Retro, don't worry about it. Just skip it. Allow me to do it. What's that? Oh, yeah, you can just unplug it. It's done, I think. Um... What is the circumference of your forehead? Damn it. Are dehumidifiers worth it? I don't know. These are tough questions for me. Will I get to me making breakfast before you finish your stream? Mm, what time is it? 
when will the Akihabara stream be starting? I think like around hopefully 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. I also think that we are going to absolutely overheat both modems and all that shit. But I'm always on time. Is a hot dog a taco? Uh, yes. Sure. Why not? You bring energy. You don't suck it out of the room. <laughs> Thank you, One Man Circus. I appreciate that. It's true. Uh, I don't know. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. If somebody thinks I suck the energy out of everything, then I do. Or maybe I, I absorb it. Maybe it's like my power that I like absorb it from other people and then I get to expend it. And what a shitty power that would be. Um, other day, Nomadic tried streaming in 36 degree weather. Stream setup died in 30 minutes. What? Seriously? I don't even have a fan in the bag. That's what I'm nervous about. So, uh, depends on how long we stream tonight. But I might try streaming a little bit outside tomorrow. Just, or Friday, maybe. Just do like a little test run. When's the next trip to Hokkaido? I have no idea. That's definitely not on something I haven't thought about. If you had to get one giant weeby statue in Akiba, what character would you get? This is a great question. This is a great question. If I had to get one giant weeby statue that doesn't conflict with my 73 nude ones, what would I get? Probably Hokuto no Ken, maybe Slam Dunk, possibly something like... Oh, dude, I saw this one of the wolf from, from ok uh, Sekido. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was like $750, but there was a Sekido main character statue, and that shit looked amazing last time I went to Akihabara. I don't think I would buy that Tifa one where she's doing like the pose, but it's crossed my mind. I don't know. Why not? It's never too late to try something new and buy new statues. Why not? Fuck it. No, but uh, I don't, I'm not a statue guy. All of the toys that I have are right there. That's the collection. Dot doesn't use an air conditioner, if you guys didn't know that. Isn't that kind of scary? Every night he goes to bed, no, nothing. Just nothing. But let's see what BJJ has pound to say. Pound for pound, you are my favorite noodle. <laughs> I know you're going to have a great time with Chris in Sendai, because the only thing you're incompatible with is a bad time. Hey, that's a friend for life. I met BJJ Breakdown at the exact same place I met Chris, and those nights were equally fun. He's an amazing person, and I'm counting down the days that he'll be visiting uh, Japan again so I can repay the favor of you hosting me in LA oh so long ago, my friend. Thank you for the kind words. Um, oh God, I'd be miserable without AC. I would too. Uh, I can't believe it. I'm any any plans on playing Fall Night? That's right, JP. We will be. We will be playing uh, some Fall Night, Fall Guys, Fall something someday. I just don't know the exact day yet. I just I don't know. But I'm trying my best to get everything, you know, all my ducks in a line and make sure that you guys have something to look forward to. However, bang! All right, I think that's enough question and answers time. As Nathan likes to point out, I usually go about 30 minutes for my intro, of which he usually says is god-awful garbage, and he might be right. Cold showers and sleeping naked is enough. Thank you, Dot. Thank you for the visual. Thanks a lot. 50-minute intro. You know what I hate more than anything? Two things about Nathan. That's a bad intro to start with, but <laughs> uh, there's two things I, I hate about my buddy Nathan. First of all, he's a great streamer, awesome friend. I like him a lot, but it seems like every time I'm really, really busy and there's like this, if I'm like doing IRL, if there's like a lot of people on a raid and I, I, I just can't pick out any message, his message I always read and it's always an insult it's great i can't believe it and the other thing i hate about nathan is that is that enjoy asteroid that thing tilts me so badly i hate it so much i hate that emote and what's bad about it is i told him 
he asked me to put it on the channel when we first put Better TTV. And I said, no, no one's ever going to use this. No one's ever going to use Joy Asteroid. And he said, he said, I don't know how he talks. Let me hear. Well, let me let me hear him. Let me hear him for a second. Pete, stop ignoring chat, you muppet. He said, Pete, listen here, mate. I'm going to put every single stream. I'm going to use that fucking emote. And he does. Every single time. Joy Asteroid is this weird smiley face asteroid. I don't know. I, I, I hate it. I hate it. But now I kind of love it. So, all right. There's our intro. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's get it on. Easy operation. It's a better TTV emote. And what that means, if you guys see like... If you see like, huh, or better TTV emotes, or, or all these things, it's kind of a database that adds a bunch of different animated emotes and things like that. I do like, huh, very much. Huh? And sometimes it can be very interesting. If, if, so, if, if something happens, you might see a lot of people react with like the same word, like ah, yeah, yeah, or, or, or wide vibe, or anything like this. This is your hint that it's almost certainly a better TTV emote. I don't think so, Cold Stare. I don't think I'll finish it today. I really don't. Hi, Pete. Hey. Hi, everyone. Eh. Another month of Pete Chaotic Stream. Yeah. And I am alive. Well, congrats to me and everyone in the chat. Amazing work, <laughs> Pete, as always. Thank they... you. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. It's very kind of you to say. I can't believe you complimented chat, but I'll, I'll let it go this time because they are pretty awesome. How are you dealing with living so far away from your family? It, it was tough, I'll be honest, because I love my mother and I love my sister and all my like extended family and friends. But you know what? I think uh, I made a pretty conscious decision that there are other ways to stay in touch and there are other ways to to fill that family void. But I I've, I I draw a lot of satisfaction and happiness with living in Japan, and my family understands that, so they've been very supportive even when I was dead ass broke. Where's the controller? I found it. Okay, I, 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 it's called alcohol. No, I do not cope with that. All right, let's see here. Bang, bang! Seems like Mufu Tail is free from prison. He did get out. We, uh, he had a... The governor gave him a stay of execution. Somehow. Some reason. Oh, God. Okay, so here's the good news. Knobs is going off. Bang! 42 hours, and man, we lost like 3,000 Geo. Ah, the Geo. Can't wait for Yuki to see Pete, to uh, ask Pete to be quiet. You know, she's gotten used to it. Um, okay, so here's the thing. I, I want to continue with the game. And I, I've I've reached the point now, Bapanada. where it's almost like we got we we got so far, and I what's up, Chief? Thanks for the follow, mate. I don't know where we would go from here. You know, this is now well beyond my my knowledge zone. So I'm hoping you guys can help me. I, no, no, I, before I finish the Coliseum, I want to get one more. No, no, no. Before we go back to the Coliseum, uh, I want to get one more of the pale ores. I want to get the last pale ore. Crystal Peak down. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, yeah, we were going to go there yesterday. That's right, right here. Uh, let me get my pointer. Bang! Kochira koso, ne? Kochira koso dana. Iki masho dana. Bang! What's the gap between Deep Nest and the Royal Waterways? Deep Nest, 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 Royal Waterways, Royal Waterways, Royal Waterways, Royal Waterways, Royal Waterways. Uh. What? Have a great stream. You are fun. Looking forward to being able to stay longer next time. Thank you, Miss Venom. Appreciate that. Oh, is there a thing there? 
Is there a thing? No idea. All right, let's go. That's the tram. You should try that too. All right, well, for now, though, we're going to use our courage to go find our way into um, the darkest pit. Oh, shit. What is this? Nice! Nice, sir! Busha, busha. Okay. Whatever you do, don't use the dream gate. I know. Last time we were in the dream gate, we accidentally went just a bit outside. But what a game, right? I've really... I'm, I, I'm trying to get used to, to this shadow dash because I feel like we can get some really heavy lifting done with it. Uh, I did not forget to deposit my geos. The bank teller ran off with my geos and uh, said, see you later. And now she is missing, but I will find her. And when I do, <laughs> her blood will soak the soil once. Oh shit. No, we're okay. Once more. Oh, yeah, I get weirdly. Pete got reverse bank robbed. You're damn right. Ouch! <laughs> Sorry, I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirtsmith and purchase a map of this area? Available now for an excellent price. I see. Now you understand. Stop touching me. Oh, look, new place right here, too. She did run off. She stole my money and left me. I swear I feel sneeze coming. Ah. Ah. <laughs> the power is overwhelming. Take a dip. All right. Carbonara. Ouch. How you doing, Jock? I do hope all of you guys are having a fantastic... What's up, uh, Nibopo? 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 How are you doing today? The fungal waste. I'm gonna do a pacifism run. Except that guy. <laughs> Back to soundless lurk. Gotta study for work. I got you, Max. Don't worry, because you know what the good news is? We will be here for you when you want a little break, all right? Whether it's right now, whether it's in two hours or four or teen or whatever, we have got your back today. All right. Now we're cooking chili. How was your phone thing today? It was... I did not get the new phone, actually. Yep. Instead, what I did was I went to meet a couple of amazing IRL aficionados, and they helped me connect my HDMI cord to be securely fastened inside of this kind of... Because on the Sony action cams, if you screw it up and it gets, like, disconnected, it can be... That can be it. Like, if your cords are, are jiggly and don't fit inside, that's the end of that camera. There is no more, like, maybe we can fix it later. You just got to get a new one. So, they have this 3D printer that allowed them to customize a kind of secure cable holder. And it's awesome. It's going to give some longevity to the stream. And I'm looking forward to Saturday to testing it out. Ah! 
If you break the connector port, you are kind of boned. Is there another 13 hours today? There is not, Mosutis. However, I am thinking about doing another marathon stream. Ashta. That would be tomorrow. Because I do like some bombfanadas. And I like the I like the long streams. I felt like yesterday was a test of wills and I won. Except for the Coliseum, which broke me. But it's it's super fun to do the long form ones. And I think if we if we do a long oh, oh, if we do a long form stream tomorrow, we really could get close to conquering this game, right? Rogue Hero 89! How you doing, bud? Thanks for the follow, mate. What am I doing in this game? Ah, looking for the tram. Eats Gaijita is the chat who assisted Pete in making the stream set up. It's true. More resilient. He streams too. Very cool guy. He is a very cool guy. And very, very intelligent. And we even talked about doing some sort of IRL stuff in the future together. They seemed pretty keen on it. And they, they, they didn't just... They weren't like, uh, you're a weirdo. So I tr totally fooled them. We're not going to be burning the Erd tree tonight. Other than that, it was just one of those those good old days, right? Oh, there was like a really sad delay. I'm hoping it was just a heat stroke, but there was a, uh, a human accident when I was trying to come home on the train line. And it was about almost two hours long. It was pretty intense. Those are always a bummer to, to see. Oh. No big stream today. How am I supposed to do my 10-hour shift then? Huh? Explain. Well, I didn't say it wouldn't be a big stream. I just said it wouldn't be 13 hours. I'll still try to get my five or six hours of power in. You know what I'm you know what I'm like. Yeah. G generally speaking, if it says human accident, it usually, usually, it said human accident or death. Which is, which is sucky. Hopefully that was not the case. Artemagio. What? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Are you telling me that this stupid infection blocked my path? Because now I can't go the one way I was trying to? Why? Why would they do this? I understand. It's a penance for dying so many times in the Coliseum third round. So wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, uh. Why does it sometimes do like a massive like uh, essence thing? Does, do I sometimes just gather essence now because I'm awesome? So I'm down with that. What's up, Bartek? How you doing, buddy? Oh shit. Gosh, what a great Tuesday. Even though I thought all day of yesterday was Tuesday, I, I, I'm I glad to say that I'm just happy to see everyone doing well today. Yay me, I finished a commission. Now time to work on the next one. Gotta keep on that grind. Yeah, man, you know what's cool? I know you do art for your, for your living. How cool is it that you get to uh, draw? Did you ever think about that when you were doing doodles and stuff as, a, as like a high schooler, that someday I'll be doing this forever? as like my job and people will pay me for it. That must feel pretty satisfying. Ah, oh, piss. Never played Hollow Knight. Looks like Ordi in the Blind Forest. I love that game. You know, Ordi is on the list. I've heard Ori is amazing. But, um, I've yet to play it. And I, I'm kind of behind on the, the Hollow Knight as well. <sighs> Premiere 2, from Richard said, If streaming wasn't a thing, how would you... No, no, no. What would you prefer to do in Japan if you were fluent in Japanese from the start? That is easy. 
I would have I would have immediately immediately been a cat maid. Or possibly a famous karaoke singer. And then got in trouble on a scandal because I, I lip sync everything. That would have been the end of me. Um, probably an actor. Probably I would have given everything I could to, to pursue acting because, to be quite honest, that is still my passion. I love performance. It's a major part of what I did growing up. And um, it's something I am going to return to. That's what I'm doing. You return my facetious entitlement with facetiousness. I applaud that. I told you the real answer, too. Oh, acting. Wait, 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 wait. What kind? It would probably be either stage or uh, television or any of those things. I would love it. V Tokyo Vice season two in an alternate universe with Petter. That's what I'm talking about. Get in a scandal for having a partner and therefore disappointing the fans. Yeah, probably. I'm just a big disappointment anyway. What's up, Scrub Dixie? It's fun. Draw what I want, however I want. I don't think my 10-year-old me would think I would be drawing ladies being in uh, happy situations. But here we are. You know what? It's an art. You could also draw men in happy situations. You could draw women in happy situations. As long as you draw it and as long as it pays the bills. No shame in your game. I don't know what Darmon is, but sure. Why not? What's up, Scrub? You could be the boomer on Terrace House? How dare you? How dare you? Is there an opening? <laughs> Feeling tired? Oh, we've already heard that guy. All right. Um, oh. Okay. Okay. What's up, Cash? All right, we're going to the crystal, the crystal peak. And when we get to the crystal peak, we're going to go to Migihoko Des. Migihoko Des. But I think it'd be faster to go to the resting grounds. I don't think I would like being on Terrace House. You know, I'm more of a... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something new today. I haven't figured out how to do this camera yet. I'm still trying to figure out how to how to get comfortable. Or that's better. That's too far. I think that like I, I I don't really reality TV reality TV for me is not is not my style. It's just not. Uh, it, there's a, there's a few joys in my life that I enjoy more than getting a script and a character assigned to it. And, and trying to figure out all of their goals and their passions and their wants and their desires and how can I bring that to the stage and it sometimes sucks really bad when you fail in your task like you're trying so hard to have an interesting character and it just sucks or the, the, the performance just never really reached its its uh, potential but I, I enjoy that challenge very very much uh, yeah I do get a lot of Charlie Day uh, comments it's that's a very nice compliment. I would have been an excellent Ant Man, but you know what? I'm very glad it went to Paul Rudd, who is v what? Wait a minute, I screwed up. Hey, magical. How the? F no! I thought that was a way up. Oh, bah, fanada. I feel like every single choice I make in this game of like, I've got it, I know the shortcut, has never once worked. What's up, Yuka Man? Who wouldn't want to be connected to Charlie Day? He's hilarious. He's also illiterate. He's also an idiot. <laughs> you know, he's... He's a moron. So, yes, that that there's that part of it too. He's Dayman. He can fully read Irish. Okay, great. So yeah, I'm on my way. Well, this stream's starting out pretty normally. Where does Pete go? Who the fuck knows? 
hecho. Yeah, but if you guys, if I didn't have acting, and if I didn't do streaming, and I'm gonna already take away Maid Cafe and Bunny Bar, because that's what you guys said. If you took one look at me, what would you think that my, my career would be? Policeman? Surgeon? Astronaut? Philosopher? IT agent? Hitman? Talent scout? English teacher. <laughs> Rodeo Clown. Well, there we have it. That's the one. Rodeo Clown. I wasn't going to say it, but someone already beat me to it. Homeless. I did do, of, of my career in the arts and all these... Oh, man, I hit my grundle on that. I've had many, many, many jobs over the years. I've been a, a, a bass player in an indie band, an acting teacher... I like that. Whoa! Have you ever done any theater? I saw David Harbour in Madhouse in the West End this weekend. Play was good, but he especially was brilliant. Mental asylum patient. I work in IT and I've had several co-workers who look just like you. Thank you. Uh, what's the question? Wasn't paying attention. What would be my job if you were to look at me? Uh, save it. Well, okay, wait. Um, I, it's, it's what job would I be if I didn't, if I wasn't a streamer slash English teacher slash rodeo porn actor or whatever what was said. <laughs> that's a very specific porn actor, a rodeo porn actor. That's not what I wanted to say, but all right, Kitzel, have a good one, buddy. I could have been the next Doctor Who. Uh-oh. So... A voice actor for a cult? All right, well, he, you know, uh-oh. I've had a lot of very strange jobs over the years. Um, I'll tell you about some of them. I have been, in no particular order, a, a uh, radio DJ, security guard, TV salesman, waiter, Bartender, Bose speaker, sales person, English teacher, streamer, uh, actor, both stage and film. I've done modeling. I worked at a flea market. I worked at GameStop. I think that's it. I was not the flea, goddammit. Oh, yes! Pizza delivery! I was a pizza delivery man on two different places. And I worked at several pizza shops. I kind of lumped that in with, with, um... You know. Food. Uh, I don't think I would be a good chef. My dad was a chef. I was not in a movie about ants. I was in a movie in Japan called Vancouver no Asahi. It's not like I did anything important in it, but I was an extra, so I'm gonna count it. Oh, that was the wrong button. Ah, yes, GameStop. That explains the mass wealth. I still think, Dot, perhaps you should save it for Saturday. Save it for Saturday, and if we don't get to it Saturday... Uh, maybe you could switch it to the stream following that. But I think we'll... Oh, yes! I was a cool Japan regular. That's TV. TV as well. So I, I've had a lot of weird and interesting jobs. Okay, I'm getting used to this. You did modeling? That must have had to use a lot of Photoshop. I'm joking. You're a beautiful looking man. Um... Would you like to see an example of my modeling? Because I could easily show it to you. I have it with me. Modeling what? Scarves? I've modeled for three places. One was... Alright, I'll show you. If you press the down button while circling the joystick three times, you'll get an epic weapon. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true, Captain Bosch von Rotzenberg of Dalmaska. 
Um, I did a, I did it modeling for a place called, what was that name of that place? Okamura Furniture. And then I got this guy. Ugh. I've showed you guys this on, were you a hand model? That would make sense. Uh, no, I was on the Jinsei Punching Bag Punch, which in and of itself is very depressing because the pictures that they... This is my entire Give me apartment. My forehead. Um, unfortunately, they did things like this. I'll zoom in. Oh, boy. Yeah, you can even see the fat being pulled on that t-shirt there. Not the best look. Eee. Or how about that? Uh-oh. That one's pretty good. Short hair. Ugh. There's another one. And we got a... Uh, got that one, right? <laughs> There's another one. I like that one the most. That's probably the best acting. There you go. There you go. Those are in Don Quixote. Those are in Don Quixote's around Japan. I was not the punching bag. I could have been. Short hair looks good on you. Nice try. Nice try. I'm not cutting it yet. Not yet. Not until we go full. They make me cut it. Oh, I thought people in those pictures were computer generated. <laughs> I wish I was. You need a haircut. No, I don't. Why? Why? Give me back my forehead! Why? Look. Why? You look good! I'll buy it at a high price. What are you buying? What are you selling? You know what? This is probably my last run with long hair. I'm keeping it. One year with the natural playboy. What's up? What's up? Wall of Ice. My favorite Magic the Gathering card. Well, one of them. Actually, you're just my favorite user of that name. How you doing, buddy? Welcome back. That's right, Code Stars. Long hair gang, ride or die. It's glorious. Don't ever cut it, dude. 38. Let me have this for two more. The long hair is the iconic Pete look. It's part of his drip ensemble. Well, when I started streaming, I didn't have it. I just haven't cut it since I started streaming. <laughs> so, metalhead till you're dead. That's right. That's right. And what's up, Spirit Bane? It's just, it's fun to try. When, um, when my dad died, he had hair down to his belt. Bang! Oh. Hey, listen! Oh, I love what you've done with your hair. How did you get it to stick out of your nostrils like that? <sighs> that was good. That was good. We can't hate. Thank you, Jay Monkey. Grow that hair out. Don't. That was a critical. I think I have this. I think I got it. <laughs> hey, listen. And no, I don't want no scrawl. A scrawl is a guy that can't get no love from me hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride trying to holler at me. Give me back my forehead! Ah. Oh. Damn it. It's. I'm a scrub. A curb scrub. I can do it. I can handle it. Uh, pow! Okay. Sometimes you guys get me real good. And you just halt the hype train. Right in its tracks. 
it's chugging along, and then you say, I love the hair. How do I get it? Pap. Long on my nose. And then that thing just goes. <laughs> Longest hair I ever had was in 10th grade, down to my shoulders. Curly as hell. Part of me misses it, but I hate the transition period due to the long. I'll tell you what, you're right. That transition period was pretty brutal. It was pretty brutal. I'm not gonna lie. It was ugly. But it was all part of the process. Hey! Hello. Long hair also does take a very long time to dry. Wait a minute. Yeah, all right, there we go. There we go. I have nothing to say about this lapse in judgment. It's not a lapse in judgment. What you just did was the greatest decision that you're going to make this week. You subscribed to Premiere 2, which is a good thing. You get ad-free viewing. You get amazing emotes. You get awesome support of a guy who needs it, and it's done. You should have seen Connor's Jump King streams. It was a week-long streak of these nudge jokes. I remember hey, that. I was there. Listen. Actually, you want another one? Sure. Your hairstyle is so ugly, Cupo has coughed up better looking ones. <laughs> Premier Pet Premier Cry. Yeah, he has. I, I know it's not the best hair, and that's okay. It doesn't need to be. It's just, if it makes me happy, then why the hell are you sad? No singing. Okay. Um, I like short hair because it's easy to maintain. It definitely is. It definitely is. Um, I haven't had a haircut in over two years, Hannah. Looks good. Keep it going. Had long hair. Had longer hair than Pete's. Slightly. Cut it, and my girlfriend became my ex. That sounds like you dodged a bullet. Um, but yes, I do remember Connor's Jump King streams. He actually challenged me during his streams. And that was one of our first kind of like interactions, really, before we did other stuff together. And uh, I also did Jump King slightly oh, faster hey. than Connor did, just so you know. Thank you, HK Pui Pui. I appreciate that very much. Toss one out to the community. You're a legend, mate. Thank you to Space Engineer 98. Thank you. It's almost time to re it now that it takes three f***ing bottles. That's a lot. That's a lot. But that's okay. I feel like I came to the wrong spot, by the way. How the f fuck did that? He sniped me. Okay. Shit. Okay, wait. There's an exit out of here. Oh! Okay, we're good. We got to figure out where the exit is, though. Damn it. I was going the right way, and then I did a Pete move. I see it. I see it. There it is. Uh oh. Ooh, ooh. Bingo. Free me. Just want to go to sight. Captain America. What? I don't remember any of this. Where are we? I will free him. I will free him. I'm gonna free him. I'm gonna free him. I was just seeing where we are. I'm just checking it out. Chotomate, ne? Chotomate. Watch this. Big smack. Big smack. Bigger smack. Biggest smack. <laughs> uh oh.
You consumed the descending dark. Tap circle. While holding down to strike the earth with a burst of power, spells will deplete souls. I don't have any souls. Shit. All right, spoilers are on, my brothers. Uh, where do we go next? The tram. Someone said the tram is the way to go. Bapanada. That's not the Coliseum until we get the third pale ore. Thank you guys for that hype hype. Appreciate that. There's stuff at the top of the hollow nest crown. Hollow nest crown. <laughs> Where's that? Hollow nest crown. Wakanai Kedo. Ah, yes. Okay, let's go up there then. Got it. I stumbled across a Terry Bogard soundboard online. If you're interested, I can send you the link. Please do. Because I love Banaku Power Wave. Terry Bogard is my favorite fighting game character ever. All right, we're gonna smack that beef down. Are you ready? Oh. Getting used to this this uh, charge is very different. This dash. But I think if we can master this dash, it'll be better for us in the long run. Hello. Oh, it's Trian. Oh, look. These stopped. These used to be the annoying pillars that would slam down. I don't know if, if, if Trion can read, but it says, I'm new here. I'm new here. And he abused that to get a free wave of my welcoming kindness. I could sound more dis... I felt... It, I was not sounding uh, disappointed. I sounded cheated. Hey, you. That was pretty cool. I like it. It's okay if we're wrong. We're just exploding right now. Oh, it's tree. Okay, so we don't know how to get up there yet. But we're going to figure it out. Because we're gamers. What's up, Gavin? I know you're new. That's why you have a three-month badge near your name. Ouch. Die. Die. Not you, Gavin. This little creature attacking me. Do you read manga? Uh, not a lot. I, I, I guess... You know, Doran, you can call me Peter. I, I, I've read a couple of manga through the years. I've read like two... Ooh! I think we've been up here before, guys, and we couldn't figure out where to go. I've read a couple of issues of like uh, One Piece and Full Metal Alchemist or something like that, and they were cool. And um, I've also read all of Slam Dunk, which is my favorite. It made me cry. I read some of Vagabond. I read a little bit of uh, the Kujin no Hoshi. I'm interested by manga. I respect manga, but in general, it's not for me. I haven't read GTO. I have not read GTO yet. What's up, Tend? But there are there are a lot of manga that I would like to read. I think manga's pretty sick. I like that in comparison to American comics, manga is unafraid to make massive story decisions without the fear of losing all of their characters, right? Like, I think American comics are way too conservative. They're like, if, if Spider-Man dies, we'll have no more Spider-Man. And they're like, well, that's okay, because maybe there shouldn't be 1,100 issues of Batman. You know what I mean? Maybe there should be a complete cohesive story, and then just see what happens next. 
those are kind of disappointing. I hate when they do that. And then you got stuff like One Piece, though, which also does it. It seemingly does. So who knows? Um, so I like that when the creator generally has an idea, it's like, I have an idea for a story. This is what I'm going to tell. And when it's done, that's it. It's done. That's pretty sick. Okay, I want to see what you guys said. Are you part of the 83 or 84 club? 83, rise up. What's up? What's up? 83. I was born in 83. I recently picked up volume one of Akira, one of my top five favorite films, and I've read, heard the manga goes even deeper. I can't wait to start it. Currently reading through One Punch Man, Fire Force, My Hero, Jujutsu Kaisen, Sakamoto Days, Hunter x Hunter, and a few others. I think I'm juggling too many stories currently. Really? I thought you only listed eight. You can't be reading eight manga at once. Choose two. <laughs> what? All right. Actually, you can. I don't really care. Uh, I think that part of it, yeah, Game of Thrones was that nobody was safe. Um, there was an appeal there. And I, it's not that I just want everyone to die. I don't. Uh, look, a lot of them are weekly. It's so, look, it's not bad. That's true. I, I do like that week, the weekly Shonen Jump and stuff like that. But so, like, the. the there's like a lot of things that are very, I'm a big American comics guy. I love American comics. I grew up on American comics and I'd say that most of my knowledge is centered around American comics, but um, it's not just the willingness to kill a character. I just think that sometimes, not sometimes, most Americans comics are, are bloated. <laughs> the, oh, the, the stories go too long and there's, just they just don't end that's why almost every single one of my favorite comics are are one shots you got like watchmen you've got the long halloween or dark victory the dark knight returns or the i used to really like infinity gauntlet but then that just got completely i uh, it's very very popular now but like those are i like just beginning middle and end stories without the need of having an, an endless because Batman, Batman or Superman or anyone at this point, it's just, it's in, it's impossible that they're doing all the things that they're doing now at this point. It just, it can't be done. Ouch. Ah. Whoops, fired my load. But I know that right now the boys is very popular. Ah, I'm not too keen on that one yet. Thank you very much, Howie. I will be annoying Yuki with all of those. I know the boys is probably cool. I understand, but I have some reservations. I'll be annoying Yuki with my Terry Bogard sounds. The Boys is a great show. Well, it's, you know, I was talking to my buddy about this and he pointed out that it's a, you know, it's a deconstruction of comics, which is awesome. Uh, I think that that premise is, is very good, but it's, that's not a very original idea. And I almost sometimes think it's, it's graphicness and it's deconstruction is, is almost excessive and it's, it's need to rehash this story. I mean, you could. You, you have those tales already with things like Watchmen, you know, or even Invincible in a lot of ways. Transmopolitan's great. And the boys is cool. It's, I mean, it's, it's, Garth Ennis is, is an awesome dude, but it's a pretty interesting, I also, Watchmen did it best. It's true. But that doesn't mean there can't be another one. But I, I, I want to give boys more of a chance. I, I do need to. All right, really quick. Now that I've got, I've had my hot take corner. What was I missing down here in the the top of the hall? Can I bash this door open? No. My favorite Batman comic is the Long Halloween and the Dark in Dark Victory. Those are my favorites. Oh, okay. So we we kind of just came up here. To show you guys. Killing Joke's good. I love Killing Joke. Killing Joke's awesome. But... Tim Sale passed away last week? What? No! Really? Really? 
That sucks. Damn, he's a great artist. Rest in peace, Tim Sale. You're some of my favorite stuff. All right. That sucks. Thank you for letting me know and bringing that to my attention. Now that I'm ultimately just kind of devastated. That sucks really bad. Ah, oh, fuck. He's so talented. Loved his art. American Comics nailed the idea and set the amazing the deep nest. Back to the deep nest, huh? Well, well, well. The deep nest returns with all of its spooky and creepy crawlies. All right. Hey, Pete, came straight from Connor's VOD. Glad to see you alive. Oh, live. Live? Thank you, Gabo. Appreciate it, man. Daredevil Frank Miller books are amazing as well. Those are very, very good. Damn, he was a legend. Dark Victory is so underrated and got lost in all the New Age Batman stuff. Not to me, it didn't. All right, all right, really quick. I'm not trying to move on from Tim Sale. I, I genuinely hope that he and his family get closure, but that's that's unfortunate. But, um, damn, that sucks. But I do need some help. He lived a good life, and he did some amazing shit. So I'm happy to see you alive, too, Pete. Thank you, Dot. You got any tips for staying awake for 34 hours-ish to reset your sleep schedule? Yes, I do. First of all, I'm going to tell you straight up. I've been around a long time. I've been around 38 years. That shit doesn't work. <laughs> okay? I've done it. I've done it in college. I, I've done it in working. I've done it with streaming. Staying up to try to, like, bank sleep later isn't going to fix your sleep schedule. It's just not. What's going to happen is it's going to be you're going to sleep a lot the next day. And even if you don't, your body is going to be working so hard to try to get back to like rest. It's just going to be really challenging. My advice would be lay down and go to bed as often as you can and set the alarm for the time you need to get up at. And trust me, imagine it's just like taking a flight, you know, stay up for like 18 to 20, 22, 23 hours. Finally go to bed, and if you fall asleep at 4 a.m., wake up at, like, 5 a.m. Or, no, 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 at 9 a.m. or something, like, in the morning. Go outside, see the sunlight, move around some extra time, get some tasks done. You're going to be fucking dragging your feet. It's going to be bad. But getting out and doing stuff will go a lot further than, like, trying to just stay up for 38, 34, 36 hours. Now, if you do that, showers... Showers have an incredible power to refresh you and keep you going. They can easily add two or three hours to my day if I'm dead ass tired. Not a bath, a shower. Um, I'd say copious amounts of regulated caffeine, but don't do too much or you'll crash. And uh, stimulation. Try to don't do movies, don't do TV shows. Get something interactive, and the minute you start fading off, go hit that shower. There you go. Also go camping for a week. S yes. That's right. You know what I'm saying. Stimulation. High protein, low carbohydrates. That too. Toasty. Cold showers are the best. All right, now hold on a minute. Attention chat, attention Sorry, chat. I need you. I would like to, I'm not horny, I would like you to know, I would like to know where to go here in this deep nest. Thank you. It's near the spa bench. Arigato gozaimasu. Thanks, buddy. No problem, utterly bored. I got you, man. Up, oh, up. Oh. Okay. Stop, <laughs> stop. Oh, I walked into that when I got scared by the speeder. All right, focus, focus, mate. Stop it. S Stop. Thank you. I'm a winner at life. It's true. 
I'm also looking for that guy that Chris, my buddy Dot Decor, spoiled for me because he's a dirty spoiler. <laughs> Where I want to fight Zote, the stronger. Pete out here giving sage advice to his tens of viewers. I, I'll do it. I'll rock a coffee shop for a crowd of ten. I'm no stranger to it. I used to have a stream. And I, I, I wouldn't be at all surprised. I hope it doesn't happen, please. But uh, if it goes back to that due to some other reason, I'll rock it for ten again. Ah, my grundle. Hey! All right, we forgot to smack this beef, too. So let's grab this one really quick. Each knee. Son. <laughs> ah! Rancid eggs. Pete. <laughs> what's up? What's up, buddy? How you doing? The ground buddy? quakes. Hey, what's up? We went we went with an eight month sub and a fresh sub. Back to back jacks. Thank you guys. Girls, dudes, dudettes. Thank you very much for being here. Appreciate that. I'm gonna show you a little trick. Got him. Thank you, Ronso. You're carrying the torch of the of the hype of eight months and prime. Uh, did Pete beat the arena fight that he ended on? No, Bex. I'm gonna beat that today. Dude is a gender neutral term, but I also like the word dudette. I'm cool with using both. But I, I feel like dude is just a cool it's just a cool word. But I'm also a man, so maybe I shouldn't get to choose. <laughs> I also get confused with the word guys. You know, that's always been a, a, a tough one. Wow. Another newbie here too. Well, not quite always trippy. You've been here for an extra month, but I appreciate that. Don't get, you can't, you can't sneak that past me, but I do appreciate it. But I'm trying to be more inclusive in general. So I'll use I try to include the dudes, the dudettes, everybody. But if I call you a dude, just know it means I think you're awesome, dude. Got him. Uh, uh. Uh. Alert. The center uh. control point is being captured. The Klee Brigade be infiltrating hollow. Ooh, yeah. The Klee Grenade. The Klee. The Klee Brigade. The Klee Grenade. Be prepare that nail of yours, and I got you for three minutes of playtime. <clears throat> Klee Klebs. Let me tell you guys something. Klebs an amazing person. He's awesome. I just blew my throat out for that intro. He has been playing Breath of Fire 3, and I was watching him today, and I realized something. Holy shit. That game still looks absolutely amazing. Great. I dropped my... Oh, well. Great sound, great music, and cool characters. So thanks for the raid, Klebe. How was the Breath of Fire 3? I, know, I bet it was a Puntaro recommendation. Did you have a good stream, buddy? It's all of the Breath of Fires I always really dug. Hmm? Spleeb, Spleeb and Clerknerch? The Klebe Grenade? Correct. It was a Puntara recommendation. Stream was great. Thanks for asking. How goes Hollow Knight, bud? It's going, man. I'm not afraid of you or anybody. 
I'm trying my best to figure out some of the deepest, darkest secrets that this game has. And it's... Ooh, tricky. Trixie Hobbits is what this game should be called. Have a nice stream. Thank you, Ark. I appreciate that. So if you guys like your classical arpages, I cannot recommend Kleban enough. I genuinely can't. He's... I got a first by my name on that channel for a reason. I enjoy spending a lot of time there. The best AFK music in the biz. Hi there. I just think people should be able to discern from context who is addressed. No need for more inclusivity there. Just more understanding. It's a valid point. We could go... I think the whole world just in general could go for a little bit more understanding. But you know what? I'm okay with either. I feel like when I've lived in Japan as long as I have, nobody understands me. <laughs> but they're nice enough to include me, which I genuinely appreciate. How do I get to you? I gotta run, and I gotta raid and run, man. I've got a Caribbean, a Caribbean restaurant for stewed beef. Bye, everybody. You know what? If you're gonna ditch me, for anything, that's a good one. Alright, I'm not dumb. I'm smart! I'm smart! I'm not dumb! Not like people said! I got stepped over. We used to do Fredo impersonations all the time. Remember those days? When I would give people the kiss of death in marbles. Don't say marbles sag either. Don't do that marbles pepe sad. Don't do it. Um, I'm missing like one. I knew. Okay. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have even. I knew it was coming. That was the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm missing, like, one ball of light. Ooh. I've heard if, if you pray hard enough, marbles will come back in some form or another. Good morning, Pete. Did you beat this last night? Or are you just finishing up stuff? Uh, well, I'm trying to decide right now on the fly if I should just lie to you. Would that be a white lie? Would that be an okay lie? Would it be like, I'm not trying to bring any harm? Uh, I did not beat it last night, but I did beat a tough boss. And I would like to point out that I, I've i been kind of like challenging myself in a, a more... Like, we're trying to not just... I could have beaten the game easily. We could have We could have been done with this game and already playing my next game, which is... Colonel Sanders and the dating game extravaganza. But I decided that no, no, no. I want the challenge. I want the beef. Put it on my plate and feed me until I'm sick. I want to beat this game and its challenges. Uh, no promises, by the way, on that next game that I just said. I did like uh, Metroid Dread. Uh, I would give it three out of five star. I feel like... Uh, all right, all right, all right. I'm missing something here. My small pea brain. Hey, listen. What's up? Marbles underscore. Marbles underscore. Marbles <laughs> underscore. No lies, petter, just truths in this stream. Seems my infection has gone. I'm finally. Crubs. Crubs. <laughs> Crubs. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, okay. Wait a minute. I've lost the plot. Guys, girls, everybody, where, what is this? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Oh no, I didn't know that was a door.
Papanada. Smack that thief. It looks like we're missing one. First time watching you. Such a beautiful energy you have. I will keep watching. You have made a great choice. Um, I hope you enjoy the channel. And for those of you who do not know, my name is Peter. I've been living in Tokyo for, well, I've been living in Japan for about 10 years. Spin Slash! Oh! <laughs> Power up. And look, we found the juicy thing. That's not, not the juicy thing, the grub. Yep. I knew, I didn't know. It. Oh! Okay. Grub juice. All right, now we're, we got that tree out of the way. Let's go to the thing. And uh, I used to teach English here in this fine country. Now I get to... I'm going to be very loose with this term, with my grubs. I entertain the masses. <laughs> I get to use my own qualifiers and descriptions. And by entertain, I mean try to get them through a work day or a long evening or just just once during the night. Bring a nice little smeal to their face. Okay. Wait, have you fought someone who looks like you? Yes, that was awful. You mean the kin? That was the hardest fight we've done so far. I'm not going to do that yet. The marbles was not redeemed. It, you know what? It was, it was tough. That was the hardest fight. No, here in the deep nest. Oh shit, there's more. Not yet, I have not. I fought a, yes, I did. I fought the spender, the spider. Yes, it, it ran away from me, and then it became a husk. And then I killed it. Quite easily, I'd like to add. It was my third try. Bang! I don't know what God Home is. I did not use the dream nail in the junk pit. Does that open up the gate? I will. I'll kill anything that moves. All right, Corilu, Stromboli, have a good one, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure it out together. And at the end of the battle, everyone's gonna say they're gonna. I don't know what they're gonna cheer yet. It, it would probably. I'm gonna record it though. It's probably gonna sound something like, "Pete's the best." Go, Pete! Woo, gaming wizard! And, uh... You're number one! Now I have all four of those to push. Now I have all four of those. Pete's the best! Go, Pete! Yes. Woo, gaming wizard! You're number one! Yeah, perfect. I got them all... ...within my fingertips. Uh, alright. Where do we go? I don't know, guys. I don't know where to go. <laughs> oh, yes! Do we go to the love junk box or whatever? And I also have a love key. Damn, this game is so hard to find out where to go. I missed entire areas? Where? Maybe in the Howling Cliffs, King's Pass, maybe. I went to the Abyss. Alright, let's go to the tram. We're right there. But there was a door in the Abyss that I could not open. It was a blue door. I like how Hollow Knight, it's it's kind of sad because there was a bunch of maybe potential new viewers who are like, 
You know what? I really liked Pete in that IRL stream. Let's see what he's up to. Oh my god, he's been playing Hollow Knight for years and can't beat it. <laughs> All right, here's the damn tram. What is lifeblood? <laughs> what the hell is lifeblood? Is it time for Premier 2? What's up, breadcrumbs? The blue shells. The what? I don't know. Oh, wait. I have I have this. I have Lifeblood Heart in Joni's Blessing. Like, maybe I need to... Maybe I need to use those. I see what you're saying. Alright, but first, let me see. This is Tram. Alright, I'm just gonna... Uh, lifeblood gets added as blue shells to your health and can't be replenished. Right, I know that one. Um, I need 15? So I gotta go all around the world and collect blue lifebloods and not get hit? And then make sure I make it then to that place so that I can ensure that I'm like... Super special? Rogue Legacy is one of my favorite games, Hyper. Holy Christ, we're bad at this game. I don't know how to fix the uptime bot. I don't know how. I've tried to fix it, I've reset it, I've added tokens, I've generated tokens, I'm a token, I'm generating myself, I've tried to, I've talked nice to it, I've hit it with mood slime, I've done everything I can. It doesn't want to fix the uptime API errors. Alright, now hold on. Oh god, this game. This game is great. What a troll game. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. But that's not where we need to go. That's still not answering the question. You know what I mean? The question is, is where are we going? That's just some bonus Dungerino. Is it... And look, right beneath the palace grounds, I can see something. All right, I'm going to use the tram. Let me use the tram. All right, here we go. Here we go! Just curious, what are your favorite fighting games, and do you plan to play any on streams? Yes, I love fighting games. Uh, Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, K Capcom vs. SNK 2, um, Soul Calibur 2 is the goaded one of that series, Tekken 3. I, I love fighting games. I wish I was better at them, but I, I lack abilities. You need to be negative, too, if you always want a reaction. Or play, uh, your love is lifting me higher. That always works. I don't understand this tram comment. I honestly don't. I'm stupid. Breaker's Revenge? Yes, I love Breaker's Revenge. I also like Street Fighter Alpha 3. I like Alpha 3 the most. Mortal Kombat? A little bit. 
Unless you meant Mario Kart. Um. I always call it World Breakers, yes. What's up, Drunken Buffer? Guilty Gear, I just picked up... Uh, I just picked up Strive, and it's pretty slick, but I, I have a lot to learn. I love all video games except for MOBAs and RTSs, and I'm starting to dislike... Um... FPSs. Totsugeki! 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 I love the look of Strive, and I bought it like the day it came out. I just realized I don't know anything about... I'm not very good. Oh, thank you, dude. Um, I will review that after the stream, if that's all right. And then I will get back to you. I'm just in the middle of trying to do something in this game because I've been lost fucking forever. How are you all doing today? I'm doing good, except I'm totally, completely lost. Which is, you know what, to be fully honest, that is the hallmark of a... Alright, here... Which is the hallmark of a Metroidvania. Here's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I, I'm, all I'm looking for is a pale ore, half of a mask, two shards of a health mask, and one shard of a magic mask, and I just don't know anything. <laughs> I need to collect Dragon. more grubs. I don't know which bill is I got. All right, just tell me, where is the mini area? I will go to the mini area right now, and I will absolutely play it to our heart's content. I'm just, my, my vision doesn't work right now. The fact that it's hidden is... In and of itself, very hard. I have a love key. Kingdom's Edge. Kingdom's Edge. Kingdom's Edge. Okay. What's Kingdom's Edge? Kingdom's Edge to the pain. All right. We're near there. All right. I didn't go to the Pleasure House. Uh, we are at Premier 2, which if you ask me, well, it's a bit of a Pleasure House to some. Don't say it. Huh? Oh, yes. That's right. World Breakers is a great fighting game. But other than that, I love all the fights. Gawk, you don't need to tell me the spoiler part. You just got to tell me where to go. That's all right. It's okay. You just can't help yourself. You're so excited. All right, let's go finally do something in this game other than watch me walk around going Totsugeki, Totsugeki, Totsugeki. Uh, Premier 2, wait, is Premier Robot a mod in your channel? He better be. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Yes. Of course, he's a mod. Hurt and Bernie. <laughs> All right, here we go. Finally, after years of searching, we have found where we're going. To the kingdom's edge. Our fate is sealed. Oh, my God, mate. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Die, monster. What are you buying? What are you selling? If I look at that uptime right now on my own, though, and it says that we've been here for over... If we're getting close to two hours, I'm going to be super pissed off. Please be like 1.15. Huh! Shit. Shit! We haven't done shit! 
All we've done is nothing in this game. All we do is lose Geo. Hot to my Geo. When does the game end? The game ends when we find everything. Thank you, breakable wall on the right. All right, let's everyone put your put your vision goggles on. That's not what that term means, but the game ends when we bomb Fanata. Nope. Nope. Oh my god, are you effing serious? Those little dirtbag bugs were blocking my wall this whole time. Well, 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 bugs, do I have a word for you, and that's off. You can see it. Whoops. At least we have content. I should have known that those little guys were nowhere else in the entire stage. That's Premier 2 after his American trip. <laughs> That's me. I was just a uh, oh, happy boy. This is awesome stage. I can't believe I couldn't find it. Well, that's not true. Yes, I can. There was there was a certain pressure. It was like uh, I wanted to perform well for you guys, right? And if I was playing this like Castlevania Symphony of the Night, I would have um I would have found it myself. So the bees were the clue, though. The bees were the clue. They were trying to tell me there's a little thing behind it. <laughs> uh, I'm still sucked. Okay. <laughs> I'm still stuck at the White Palace until this day. This game can be very hard. I mean... <coughs> No shame in getting stuck, but I'm very thankful that I have new things to do in the game now because I feel like most of my playthrough has been me just searching. Whoa! What the? Hey, listen! Don't worry, Pete. Lots of men suffer from performance anxiety. Premier cry, Premier wow. What? I was? Pete's the best! Go Pete! Woo! Gaming wizard! You're number one! Pete got beat up. Hurt and burning. <laughs> Lots of men suffer from performance anxiety. Yeah. Thank you. How long was Yasha! I at two health? So you're telling me, you're telling me I was just sitting here going, ha 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 ha, ah bees, okay, I'm just glad we've got content, ha 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 ha, I'm pretty good at this game, but if, you, if I was playing by myself, I would have found it for sure. And this whole time I had two health. That whole time I was just sitting there running the razor's edge. Fully magicked up. Could have easily healed at any time. 
Yes, sounds about right. Don't don't be scared, Pete. Bang! And they only do one damage. Now, I think that one does more. Does that just instant kill you? No, it's one. How sick. What's up, Deb? Uh, Debstress. 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 Welcome to the party, pal. My name is Pete. Power up. Ooh, the claw. Bang. What's up, Burnt Toast? How you doing, buddy? Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Go away, B. Buzz off. Uh oh. Okay. Got him. Sorry about the language. Sorry about be nice. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. No more cursing. This is a family friendly. This is a family friendly stream. Family friendly. Is it? Yes, it's becoming one. A family of miscreants. <laughs> Pete, where do you store your premier robot chat commands? Uh, inside the database of Streamlabs chat thing. I've never come across the large murder hornets or anything like that yet. I've been keeping my eye out, though. Your Be Right Back screen isn't even family friendly. Really? I am really into it. Give me the fecal matter and put that shit right down my throat and in my brain. So, back to gaming. Fair enough. Give me the fecal matter. <laughs> That's a terrible quote. Oh! And we were playing a game called... No. Oh. Trover saves the universe. Yeah, you're right. Maybe we have some weird... Um, you know, you could say inappropriate jokes. I prefer to call them funny funs. These are so cute. Now die and be silent. Ikimashodana. Wait, 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 wait. Insane production value for like, what? Well, that's Raiden, technically. All right, so you guys are right. This, you've convinced me that there are, you could, oh my God, he wanted all of it. You could, you could, you could make some assumptions on the base of my character and this stream. I still think there are some families out there who would find this very friendly. Hollow Knight. Where the bees don't have stingers, but the stingers have bees. Pete is wholesome, but not family friendly. That's true. 
My family loves it. See? Um, what is this? Bang! And Moe's family is like the coolest family on the planet. They, they, they think it's all right. Oh dear. Hey, listen! What's up? Chat, this is a family friendly stream. Please leave all your booples, cooks, shit, and fuck at the door. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You gotta leave them all at the door. You can pick them up when you leave, but we can't have that stuff here. Me and my family, uh, my family laugh at me laughing at you. See, that counts. Nathan, would you consider this a family-friendly stream? Or would you consider any of the things I've said at your pub streams on Saturday night the, uh, family-friendly? <laughs> Absolutely hey, not. Listen. Chat, this is your friendly reminder that Premier 2 is a wholesome and family-friendly NSFW stream. That being said, there may be some scenes that contain anime violence and coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. I, I think that's accurate. See, that's that's a very good warning. A family-friendly, not safe for work stream. And yes, that forehead is offensive to everybody. So this game is about a bug that invades the nests of other bugs and then wipes out the entire hive. I think kind of that's what it is, is that some king of bugs got got frustrated that he was no longer the king of Pete. And he decided to destroy all beans. And we came here to rewrite that script. We're not the bad guy. We're here to right ancient wrongs. And you know what? I if if I knew how to if anybody knows how to do this, by all means tell me. On the on on the GoXLR Pro, there's this handy button where I can say it. You want some of me? Why don't you come and get it? Or maybe I'll just take a rock and shove it up you and then I'll put it sideways hey, and you're going to listen. The constant desire to be a family-friendly stream is annoying. I'm going to head out. This isn't a good stream to have in the background. Premier smile, Premier crubs. <laughs> it is a family. Don't. No, no, you're fine. The problem is, is I have to reach over here and I have to hit the beeping button. But if I had a way to add that to like space bar, I could be doing uh, even better. The constant reminder. I need to get a premier curbs emote, but we don't know what a curb is. Ooh, 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 Three, four. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bang! Nice shot. All right. Up. Nope. The soundboard and voice mod, is that part of the GoXLR programs? Is that part of what that is? Wow! Uh-oh. Okay, I almost died, sorry. It's a separate application. That's what I thought, right? Oh god, oh god, no, stop it. All right, we're okay. Those things do two damage. That's how I died that one time. 
There's a Nintendo Mini Direct in 15 minutes? Are you serious? You're lying to me. There is not. What is that? What does a Mini Direct mean? Are they going to say, new on the Nintendo Switch, Animal Crossing, flowery days, tired of your game being pointless, seemingly mobile-like addiction to doing nothing in a game? Well, good news. We've got two new biomes and 13 new shirts. If there's a Tactics Ogre remaster news, we'll be watching that. Two new biomes is probably way... That looks like a boss. That looks like a boss. It's a giant bee in the background. Uh, where's the bench? Ow. Pow, pow, power wheels. Hey! Ooh. We must explore deeper. We, we might have to contact you, Jass. And see if we can... Do a special news update. Ah! How do I not know where anything in this game is? Why do you hate me so, game? I want to love you. I think you're cool. I think you're pretty. I think you're everything. But you just don't like me. Perfect jump. It has beef with you. No, not this way. Do you guys do you guys know what that do you guys know what that reference is? Do you know what game that's from? What's up, Han girl? Was well, not Donkey Kong Country. It's not Donkey Kong. It's not a bootleg Donkey Kong. It's not Earthworm Jim. Maybe I just didn't do the sound very good. It sounded like Donkey Kong? What? Give me back my bench! Ha <laughs> ha! It's from Mortal Kombat when Sub-Zero freezes the ground and you step on it, you go... <laughs> That's what it is, I, pr I promise. MK2, baby. At least I hope that's what that's from. No, Crash Bandicoot is... It sounds nothing like that. You're a liar. Bullsh**. It doesn't sound like that. Does it? <laughs> Does it not? Go to YouTube. Wait, no. I, I don't want to be wrong. Because for a long time, I've, I've imagined it that way. Damn you, YouTube! Proving me wrong since 2001! For real, though, that sounded like some Daiso Donkey Kong. <laughs> Daiso is a $1 store in Japan. That's my Donkey Kong. Man. That's cold-blooded to say it sounded like Daiso Donkey Kong. We have Daiso. You do? Well, does it sound like my... 
Haha, <laughs> 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 bees. Speed run strats. It's awesome, man. I'm Daiso Kong. <laughs> He's in none of the games. Do you guys have a Don Quixote? Oh! Are you guys excited? Uh, have you watched the YouTube vid of you, Chris, and Connor? Uh, I did see a lot of it, and I gotta say, Luca's editing was absolutely hilarious. Uh, he took a, a silly video. Oh my god, get out of my face and into my car. And made it even funnier. Huh. Okay. He did a great job. He did a great, great job. Chris is slowly inflating head, killed me. I, I, I am afraid to watch the parts with me though. You know, performance, anxiety, and the such. Fudge. Yeah, even if I did a great job, you know what I mean? That doesn't, it doesn't change the fact that I don't want to see it again. I mean, I, I do because I want to see Luca's work, but like, and I want to see the funny stuff. It's not that it's performance anxiety, I guess, so much as it's, it's, um, I'm just very critical. There's a donkey in Hawaii. You know, at one point, Japan owned, like, something that was, like, 70% of Hawaii's land and stuff. It's kind of like the American-Japan crossover, as if it was a country. Uh oh, uh oh. That's death if I get hit one more time. Oh shit. Power. Ooh. Pete's a true perfectionist and master of his craft. Not really. Uh, because you never know, I could easily try again the next time and it'd be not as funny, and then I'm just- and I don't want to be in my head about it. What's up, Gaijita? There he is, everybody. If I may call your attention briefly to It's Gaijita. This is the gentleman who helped me attach. That's some commitment. I'm so, I've been streaming so long that Twitch has classified me as offline. But they know. They know. So, uh, thank you for helping me today, man. I really appreciate that. You were extremely helpful. And if any of you guys at all are interested in doing IRL and you have questions, he's got answers. He was extraordinarily helpful. I'm not just, he paid me $4 million to say this. No. Um... It was awesome. He he had helped me attach this thing on the back of the camera that lets the cable stay nicely secured because I always like the wah, 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 all the cables all over the place because I'm an idiot. And that can break the camera personal permanently. So thank you very much for meeting me today and helping me install it. I do appreciate that very, very much. You've become one with the system. There's no problem. It was a pleasure to chat with you. I hope we get a chance to do it again soon. Count on it, my friend. Count on it. All right, let's see here. Is this a Gamba boss? The ground quakes. Hey, what's up, Retrospector? Thank you very much for the, the prime, buddy. Gamba, you degenerates. You absolute degenerates. <laughs> I get three tries. Good day. Good morning, guys. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. What's up, Eric? I'm, I'm doing pretty good today. I can't speak on behalf of everybody. But I feel good. I feel, I feel 
alive. I'm slightly hungry. Team Blue, let's get it on. I feel um, after the stream tonight, I might. I'm feeling peckish, as the British say. I might go for a, a nibble. Scribbles and nibbles. I don't know what I'll get. Kind of hard to own any land in Hawaii unless you show a proof of multi-generational native families to Hawaii. Pretty much everything that is owned by a non-Hawaiian is leased for very long periods of time. Very good point, Anime Beard. Let me rephrase, let me rephrase it to be a bit more specific. At one point, Japan had invested in most, overwhelmingly most of the infrastructure in Hawaii. And I believe they're the, the, the state's most largest visitor that is not American. They have a very unique and deep relationship with them. As far as I know, it used to be that way. And certainly tons of schools and school trips go there all the time. Uh, can I go back? I accidentally clicked the wrong one. Ah, oh, hum goes doubting, is she? Maybe that explains why it's so damn expensive. I don't think so, Sam. I think it's expensive because it's primarily known as a tourist hub. So anywhere that is like a tourist hotspot is going to be boom. Always Team Blue. The Hive Knight! Wait. Oh, what? What? He got me in the back dash. Okay, okay, okay. Focus, Pete. Cheating is healing. Healing is cheating. Healing is cheating. I did so bad on that fight. I did so bad on that fight. You saw it. Don't say GG's. You know I cheated, basically. Yeah, get that prediction over with. We we knew I kind of... I just... I went way too hard on the healing on that. I face tanked it. That was like playing a Dragoon in 14. I saw it. We all saw it. I'm not proud of that one. I think he had me. I have the hive blood. But you know what? No take backs in the game of life and death. Oh. My night. <laughs> At last you're free. Uh... 
<laughs> no, 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 no. That's not the one. Check Mortal Kombat 3 then. That's not. No, 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 no. That was that was that was the the, the Mortal Kombat slide. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not the one. I said to I said Mortal Kombat. Cleveland said MK2 and I kind of went uh yeah. I'm not moving goalposts. Go check the tape. I agreed with Cleveland. Smile sing. I know you're kind. If you attempt to resolve your past and then let them know I'm not the queen you seek. Is it the pale beings that blame you for your nature? Throw this high exists the hollow nest. We play no part in its attempt at perpetuation. It's not blaming Klebs. Uh, I need to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check various, I, I will, I will do, I felt like last time I killed the spirit, you guys got all, you guys got all mad at me. Oh dear. You suck. Oh shit, my face. Okay, that was close. Oh shit, he hid behind his buddy. Did you see that? <laughs> All right. Can I backseat for a second here? You sure can. Use the, ah, uh, the enemies to break that wall. I, I, you know what? I just noticed that too. Did you know that? I just noticed that when he smacked that beef out of the wall there. Right here, buddy. Hey, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me! Perfect. Ah, shortcut too to the. I bet this is a shortcut to. No, it's not. Oh my god. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh! Oh fuck my face. Can't see! I can't see! <laughs> no, that's fine. Didn't panic. Ouch. Maybe there's another breakable wall over here. I panicked. I just wasn't screwed for it. Get away from me, big one. Did he die? Did he sploot himself? Nope. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. God, God damn it, Leroy. Ugh. Hmm. All right, all right. Do you guys want to at least uh, get chicken? 
Do you guys want to watch the Nintendo Direct really quick? Uh, is it going to be like three hours long? All right, let's take a look. And shit on it if possible. Well, we don't shit on things for the nature of just shitting on them. We objectively review media. That's what we do here. We eat curbs. <laughs> no no that's not right i'll find my sources you listen to your sources all right just just wait a minute you don't know what you're talking about or <laughs> no no fake news does anybody have a that's right they all sound different because I'm gonna find the one that I, I'm gonna find my I'm gonna find the one that I want I'm gonna find the one that I feel is correct Mundo. Uh oh uh my question is do you guys have a link to the direct that's what I'm looking for because I don't have it I don't know what I'm looking for Thank you, Sam. <laughs> I think I screwed up. Is it done? Is it finished? Did we miss it by fighting the bee? Oh, they just dropped the whole vid. I see. There were some boot spoilers in there. All right. Did not know. Did not know. No, 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 no. Okay. I thought it was live. All right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I told her she should have taken it back to the way we're live. Well, hello, this is Hugh Jass here with the news, and today we are bringing you live a Nintendo Mini Direct. Instead of doing a live show, Nintendo feared for the worst and decided to drop the whole thing at once to avoid any live running reactionary content. Today we are going to use a YouTube Live, and I've just been to- Yes. Thank you. I've just been told it is confirmed that at least one version of the Mortal Kombat series has a character saying, and I quote, whoa, as he's sliding across Mortal Kombat's character Sub-Zero's frozen ice on the floor move. Next is the first of many releases here at the Nintendo Direct Mini. You'll have to forgive us. We are showing it to you with no English support. Don't worry. I'll be here to translate anything that is necessary. It's okay. I've lived in Japan for 10 years. You won't hey, stop me. ignoring chat, you muppet. All right, if you won't shut the f up, I'll play the English version. <laughs> Jeez, I was trying to translate for you guys, but everyone got angry. They come rushing here in a desperate attempt to survive. Both beast and man have more in common than they think. A tale as old as time. We've never heard these kind of intros before. I'm so happy it's in English. No. 
not actual gameplay footage. In case you're wondering, that's because it looks good and not on the Nintendo Switch. Live footage of the moderators running away from their duties on the Premiere 2 channel. It can't be. And these wandering flames shall feed the beast and return to darkness. The story ends. Another begins. Wandering flames. I see you found your home. Are they all dead? Yeah! Out on a hunt with my favorite cube! <laughs> Is this actually the the is that the voice acting in this game? I've never played it with English before. Is that the dub? <laughs> it feels like they ditched their whole Japanese theme for Monster Hunter Rise. They sure did. But maybe they maybe they felt the Japanese theme of Rise was... Uh, that's the English VA. Breaking news. Use subtitles. Remember what you're fighting for. Don't dilly dallying from you. Let's have some fun. That was good. I like that one. Here it comes. Actually, it's not that bad. It's pretty good. I'm doing good, these nuts 69 fart. I'm just joking, Sarge. I said it's good. I was... Alright. I have to explain something in a minute. I mean, that's what I would say if I was acting these. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, the video is much louder than me. I need to fix that now. So, I, I think that looked pretty neato. Um, I did like how Monster Hunter... One of the few things I liked about Monster Hunter Rise was the... Was the appreciation of, like, Japanese culture. It was kind of like this really cool love letter to Monster Hunter Japan. And this... That was, like, the only thing. I wasn't a big fan of Monster Hunter Rise. But this does look like it adds more cool moves. Lots of neat new colors. And some awesome new monsters. I don't know. Maybe that's what it... That's what I would expect from a game like this. Uh, I like Monster Hunter quite a bit. Let me, I have to change the name. And if you guys don't know, when I talk like this, this is Peter. Right? This is Peter. But when I talk like this, I'm a sarcastic dickhead news reporter. So anything I say shouldn't be taken seriously. <laughs> All right. I hear no difference. Well, shit. <laughs> Free title update number one of 17, or we'll find out. It's got, it's got to be like three. Oh no, I see it's one monster here is the update. Oh, Juice is back. Okay. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak Roadmap Free Title Updates. August 1st, free title update number one. Seething Basil Juice Lucent Nargakuga. <laughs> oh god. Those are like the two hardest ones to fight. 
the juice is loose and Narga Kuga, let's all go and just get punished. Fall is free title update number two, rare species and subspecies of monsters. Winter, free title update number three, several monsters. <laughs> and more. Please buy now. That's cool. Sunbreak demo available now. Blaze through rise into the world of Sunbreak. Hello everyone. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching this year from our publishing and development partners. Okay, Woo! let's get into the headlines. Let's go. The battle to reclaim Earth begins. <laughs> the year is 5012 AD. This looks like a PS2 game. I can't see shit. What? Machine life forms have overwhelmed the planet, causing the collapse of civilization and forcing humans to take refuge on the moon. Ooh, near now, the end of the Yorha edition. Yorha, the humans are prepared to stand against these machine life form invaders. She's so cool. This game was great. B, and a scanner android 9S are two key members of this squad. I platinumed this game, it was great. So many endings. Machine life forms in conflict with androids. That looks what new. What come of this bloodless battle? Yeah, this game was Just awesome. Die already! This version of the award-winning Nier Automata comes with previously released content, including additional modes and costumes. New costumes exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version will also be available at launch. Wow. Reclaim Earth in Near Automata, the end of your edition, launching on the Nintendo Switch system October 6th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> Texture sold separately. And if you'd like to play the full game, you need to own a PlayStation 4 or 5. Joker? Alan Wake? Siphon Filter? Tekken? Eternal Darkness? Get ready to immerse yourself in surreal riddles and a chilling story in this modern take on puzzle adventure games. Good doggo. Trick card. Solve the enigma of Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next year. Ooh. See, this might be fun. That was Peach, uh, Pete's Pleasure Palace. I'm not sure about the title, uh, but the art, and I, do you guys remember Eternal Darkness in the GameCube? Where it would do like weird shit and it would mess up your entire uh like game and it would like mute it or switch this like the connections it was like this great mental it messed with your mind however lorelei and the laser eyes not a great title familiar faces are making a splash in these games uh-oh whoa a new Bomberman game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Yeah! This time, a bombastic new mode called Castle Mode enters the fray. A team of up to 15 players must blast their way to This game's chest, still running at 6 frames per second. to hold them off. Set up your defense wisely to blow away opponents. Literally. You can also create and share your own battle stages. Have oh, that's cool. When Super Bomberman R2 launches on Nintendo Switch next year. 
<laughs> it's June. Ten Mega Man Battle Network games originally released on the Game Boy Advance system are coming to Nintendo Switch. Control Mega Man. What? Bomberman R2 launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Ten Mega Man. There. <laughs> there was. Ten. I see five twice. Th wait. What? Mega Man Battle Network 1, 2, 3 blue, 3 white, blue moon, red sun, Team Colonel, Team Proto Man, Cyber, Cy Beast Gregar, and Cy Beast Falzar. What? If I told you that there was a Mega Man game and I said, Oh, yeah, there's a Mega Man 6 Battle Network, and they said, what's the name? And I go, hmm, uh, High Beast Gregar? <laughs> you'd call me, you'd say, you idiot. You're a liar. And I go, I know, I was just kidding. I meant Psy Beast Falzar. <laughs> Okay, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I know that they're good games, and I watched I watched Mo play it for like three weeks, and now I understand why. It's because he was playing through all ten names. Team Colonel. Battle Network games. Yeah, I don't know about that Bomberman. As much as I'm as much as I'm excited about Bomberman, that trailer did not move the needle of like what I wanted to see in Bomberman Two. I wanted to have something very new, something totally Bomberman is back. Ah, we got stuff. Advanced system are coming to Nintendo Switch. Control Mega Man in grid-based combat and use this game looks so fun though. Devastating abilities. This collection includes a gallery with over 1,000 illustrations oh, and sick. a music mode containing over 150 songs from across the series. Wow! Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection launches on Nintendo Switch next year. The full collection will also be digitally available as Volume 1 and Volume 2 each sold separately. Oh! <laughs> no! No, 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 no! Digital Part 1 and Part 2? These games are already out! You can enjoy Battleman, Battleman Network Sizar Volumes 1 through 10, each sold separately. A remake of Pac-Man World is coming soon. Pac-Man's family has been kidnapped. To rescue them... What? Two things. A remake? Of what? <laughs> a remake of a game I've never heard of? And... Pac-Man has a family? Did he marry Miss Pac-Man? No way! And they had... Did I see Pac-Children? Coming soon. Pac-Man's family has been- Nani? What? What? There's a not Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Kid, Pac-Grandpa, Pac-Baby, a bomb, and a dog? Hey, listen! Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man went wake a wake a wake a wake a walk all night long. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Remake of Pac-Man hey, World. I can see you're all struggling, guys, so let me explain. We here at Nintendo like to nix and tank and milk our systems dry until it's time to move on. 
time for several <laughs> games you've played to be sold again to you at the low, low price of seventy dollars, which will never drop in price. <laughs> and they're all coming out next year. It's coming soon. Pac-Man's family has been <laughs> Look how they're like, they're like, fuck, I'm sorry. We captured your family. Most of us were against it, but the ghost union broke. We're totally out of money. We just... Please, we've we're really sorry, but we're not gonna open these things until you until you pay us some money. They all look like they, except for like one, the green one really wanted your family captured. He's really weird about it. He keeps taking the grandpa and the dog and the bomb and for walks. I don't know what's going on. He has a hard hat. Pac Man's family has been kidnapped. To rescue them, he sets off for Ghost Island. What? Meeting dots isn't all you can do here. Trounce enemies with pack dots, the rev roll, the butt bounce, and a giant Pac-Man? From high-speed chases to galactic escapades, you'll explore all sorts of zany levels. Save the Pac fan in Pac-Man World Repack, launching on Nintendo Switch August 26th. Two unlikely friends in Pac-Man World Repack, launching on Nintendo Switch August 26th. Do here. Hey, listen! Bounce enemies with He's so dots, cool. The rev roll, the butt bounce. <laughs> the butt bounce? I'm kind of interested. I love how he said the pack fam too. What's up, Raz? And a giant Pac-Man? What? A giant Pac-Man? They did not. They did not do that. They did not do a giant Pac-Man. They are, they are f***ing lying. I see it in front of me. This is not happening. That's bullshit. From high speed chase. Toasty! <laughs> and you're lying. There's a PS1 bomb. And there's racing? Races to galactic hey, and get listen. What? What is this? Pack <laughs> Mario Galaxy Link to the Galaga Super Milk Edition? Let's just slam every game idea into one remaster for the low, low price of $700. Nathks and rival Nathks and tank premier. Wow. I don't believe you. There's no way the game will look this good. First of all, Pac Man is not piloting that ship. Unless he's using his dick. You can't fly a plane with, in space without a helmet or hands. Escapades. You'll explore all sorts of zany levels. Save the Pac Fan in Pac Man World Repack. Launching on Nintendo Switch August 26th. Two unlikely friends. One. All right, so I, I was just being, you know, I'm being a dork, but uh, that does not look like it's a game designed for me. Um, I don't know, maybe if, like, th th those games are probably fundamentally fun, right? There's no way that those games are, I don't know if they're, like, targeted for me anyway, but I bet that... Not that interested! All right. Incredible journey. A fawn and a wolf cub must work together to find a way home across the snowy wilderness in the handcrafted world of Blanc. Now this game in looks this good. Emotional adventure. Gameplay footage not final. Must coordinate and use their individual strengths to solve environmental puzzles and navigate through the frigid wilds. 
Blanc is a completely text-free story with local and online co-op play, so all players can enjoy it. This is great. Kawaii. Forge an unexpected bond in Blanc. Blanc! Blanc! No, Blanc! Blanc! Launching as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch, February 2023. Wow! Wow! Nintendo Switch exclusive. Okay, you have my attention now. That looks cool. I'm cool with that. It's Gearbox Publishing, huh? Interesting. Actually, new game? A swashbuckling adventure returns. They didn't pay him enough. Whatever they paid him. He deserves more. I res I'm i not joking. I really respect this guy. He knows that's a tough sell. He knows that's a tough sell. He went for it. That's a really, really tough job to be given that script. Pirating is in my blood like adrenaline or stale grog. I've been in enough scraps to fill a dozen scrapbooks. I've got stories about ships, fights, love, treasure, betrayal, and root beer. But how about one that has all of the above? My name is Guybrush Threepwood, and this is a story about the time I finally found the secret of Monkey Island. Guy brush three wood. Interesting. They, uh, that's the first time I've seen any footage from it. Who, that's not a remake. This is a new game. I knew they were making a new game, but um, the backgrounds and animation are really nice. You know, ah, I'm... Hey, listen! Lorelei and the lazy guys looks better. It's lazy eyes. Laser eyes. It's not lazy... Damn it, J-Mac. It's not, I don't think Connor's going to dig this, but I like hearing Dominic Armado again. But holy God, there was a ton of callbacks. I don't know who that guy is. Six-minute walk to Monkey Island. We all know that Guybrush Threepwood, he's a mighty pirate. He has one power. He can hold his breath for ten minutes. Oh, look, he's back. Wally, the map maker from uh, Scab Island or whatever, from Monkey Island 2. And that guy as well. Wow. There's the grog guys. Interesting game. Hey, uh, Marie listen. was definitely in it. Yeah. Pete all like, way way ooh, bad Nintendo game is bad. Bad game make Peter laugh. Nintendo here's a new Monkey Island game. Peter Lord, this is bussin. I needs it. I wants it. Game of the year premier bus premier smile premier wow. Well, okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be good or bad, but at least it's Monkey Island. I'm not gonna play it on the Switch. But it is pretty cool. 
I've played the fourth. I've never played the third, but those games don't count, I guess. Those games are sequ- This is taking place directly after Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge. And it's the it's part of his trilogy, so it discounts the third and the fourth games Monkey and the fifth. In return to Monkey Island, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this year. We're gonna be playing it soon, Sponge. Next, we have some news about like a, a game month. that was announced last June. Please last? take a look. Wow, this game was announced a Mario year ago. Mario and the Rabbids blast off for a galactic adventure in the latest Mario Plus Rabbids game. Space is in a universe of trouble when otherworldly enemies suddenly appear. Their goal? Take the energy possessed by Sparks, these mysterious creatures. Now, our heroes must set out to save them. A new adventure of epic proportions awaits. You'll initiate a turn-based battle when you encounter an enemy. Before we begin, here's something you ought to know. Uh, you can freely move around the battlefield as much as you'd like within your character's range uh, before using their weapon. Pretty neat, huh? Yes. Let's start with Mario. Three enemies are in the way, so let's dash into one of them. Now select Rabbit Rosalina and have her <laughs> dash into another. <laughs> Rabbit Luigi. <laughs> One more dash, and now Disruptor time! By using a dash first, then the weapon, three enemies were wiped out. With that, his turn is over. Back to Mario. Let's take out the other two. Pew pew! That concludes his turn. Last but not least, Rabbit Rosalina. Team up with an ally and jump. Get positioned, then finish off with the Kaboomer. Okay. Okay, our turn's over. Okay, good. And now, the enemy attacks. Be sure to take cover and you might be safe. If you don't, it won't be pretty. All right, we've got the floor again. Dash toward the Babom. And if you chuck it over, yeah. boom, that'll do it. The key to victory is how you assemble your team and navigate around the battlefield. Wait, is that Bowser? And he's joining the team? Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope rockets onto the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. That's my birthday. That is not the present I was hoping for. Oh. I'm sorry, Pete. Uh, I'm going to have to miss your birthday. Where's Gino? Gino is dead to us. What's up, Punish Dink Donk? You know what? I don't know. This game's probably fun. I don't know. This is just definitely... Today's your birthday. No, it's not. No, it's not. Hey, listen! Mario Rabbit Space Force Strange Star X Com Tactical Turn Based Sparkles Boom. Coming to the <laughs> Grundle Switch Photo Forehead near you, Premier Smile Premier Wow. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you're right. It, thank you, Solid. Hey, what's up, Codex? Welcome to the party. You know what? Hey! It's Happy birthday, Rob. Happy birthday, Pete. Thanks, guys. It's not my birthday. Uh, you know what? It's not even that the voice acting was bad. You got the script. She listen to the words that she has to say. It's not her fault, but I don't know about Mario plus Rabbids. I never played Rabbids. I don't know if it's any good. I know that adding Mario to it seems like a weird union, but if people dig it, they dig it. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Check out Ubisoft's special showcase tomorrow for it's more details. It's an Ubisoft about game. Mario plus Rabbids, Sparks of Hope. I uh, know. I know. It's the sequel. I'm just not from... I, I meant to say, I I never played the originals. It's pretty much XCOM for kids. Uh, oh, the rabbits are from the Rayman universe. Wow. Well, you know what? If the first one's good, I'm not going to pass judgment. But it looked... I'll tell you this. Their setup of this one was 
First, we control Mario, and he's going to slide into the enemy. Now we have Rabbids Rosalina, and she's going to slide into another enemy. Finally, Rabbid Luigi is going to slide into a third enemy. And boom, boom, boom! I feel like that's cool that you can move around and then it's okay that you can slide. But if you're going to be telling me that I'll be doing that gameplay loop for like 20 stages, oh boy. We hope you're looking forward to the chaotic adventures of Mario and the Rabbids. I'm a look at more headlines. Next one's going to be There's good. Something for everyone on Nintendo Switch. I know you don't only do that, but I hope that that's not what you have to do every time. Does that make sense? I would be cool if it was like the tactical XCOM thing, but I hope it doesn't require you to do slide, 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 cool shit, slide, 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 cool shit. That's my hope. Maybe it's like a once every charge up or something like that. But I think this one's going to be good. In fact, I stake everything on this next game. During a storm, young alchemist Noah crash lands in ancient ruins. The layout of these multi-layered ruins changes every time you enter them. Recruit Rogue -like. allies called Lilliputs to challenge the enemies lurking Lilliputs. around every corner. String together combos and perform powerful elemental attacks to defeat foes. Dashing cool Little moves! Noah, Scion of Paradise, launches a Nintendo Switch later today. Wow! Oh, oh, it's out! It's out! I called a good one. Yeah, that one looked fun. Um, okay. The new Lilliput game. That looks like an iPhone game. Doesn't matter. Could be fun. Roguelike fun games. Cool. Ah, yeah, yeah. I saw Ah, yeah, yeah. The mate. That's cool. What's up, Kishi Kane? This next hey, one. Listen. Uh oh. Pete, you have to remember these showcases probably suffer from poor translation. It probably made more sense in Japanese. The scripting seems overly descriptive for basic designs and movements. Or maybe just aimed at children. Why did you say poor so poorly? No, 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 I'm not- I'm not judging any of it. I'm not judging it. It's fine. I'm just being a- I'm just being a dingle donk. All aboard! <laughs> In the management sim Railgrade, you'll build railway systems to efficiently transport cargo and help restore economic prosperity to an industrial colony to efficiently transport cargo and help restore economic prosperity. That's economic prosperity? <laughs> that is terrifying. This is... I mean, I like trains. I'm gonna like this game. I, I think this looks really cool to me. But I don't know if this is economic prosperity to an industrial colony. But this looks cool to me. Complete various tasks to prepare each shipment hey, before listen. it's delivered to its destination. Dingle dung, Your dingle strategies dung will change based on various factors. Doesn't know economic prosperity like when he sees it. Premier smile, Premier wow. Which resources to acquire. You're right. And how to transport cargo from point A to point B. Rail grade, steamrolls onto Nintendo Switch this fall. Join aspiring game creator Kenta in a hand-drawn adventure to save the world in his latest creation, The Legend of Wright. Taking place in Kenta's notebook, this RPG spans over 200 pages where you must draw, erase, solve puzzles, and even consult your handy calculator. Discover a new way to play every time you turn the page. RPG Time, The Legend of Wright unfolds onto Nintendo Switch August 18th. That's fucking cool. That's cool. And didn't Kleban, didn't you do this today? Your handy this thing right here? Where you're chopping wood with timing it? This looks awesome. Discover a new way to play every time you turn the page. Look at that cool art though. Look at this, look at this demon smacking this horse who's driving away in the back of the head. <laughs> the ground quakes. What's up, Nate Cootie TV? How you doing, Nate? You have these guys passed out, a skeleton looking to go in hard, uh, a bigger skeleton fighting some dingle donks and got smashed on the face. Thank you for that sub, bud. I appreciate that. 
You have a cool monster with a lizard man and an archer and fire being spit and an ape with a chicken pulling him and a guy falling and he has little uh, a brazier around his feet. RPG time. The Legend of Right unfolds onto Nintendo Switch August 18th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. That's cool. Much love from New Spin Zealand. That's awesome. New zone. My family, I have family in Christchurch. Sonic's latest action adventure kicks off on the vibrant Starfall Islands, home to a mysterious civilization. Here, you can freely dash through a vast open zone, taking full advantage of Sonic's speedy skills. Lock on and attack enemies standing in your way. Chain together attacks to trigger combos and rack up damage. <laughs> With good timing, you can even deflect enemy attacks. Acquire skills to bolster Sonic's arsenal of moves. You can also enter a special zone called Cyberspace. Take on hey. challenges at supersonic speeds and grab keys to progress. Acquire skills to bolster Sonic's arsenal of moves. You can also enter a special zone called Cyberspace. Economic prosperity. <laughs> Take on challenges at supersonic speeds and grab keys to progress. Is perfect. What awaits Sonic on these strange islands? Boredom. Sonic Frontiers dashes onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Uh, you know, I don't know. The open world just looks so empty, right? And you know what was missing is Green Hill Zone or Metal Zone or like not or I forgot the Marble Hill or something. It's open zone. It's DLC for Xenoblade. Was Sonic ever good? It sure was. It's uh but like I don't know. I guess my thinking um I guess I just didn't expect Sonic to look like this because to me, when I think of Sonic, it has such a clear visual representation with blocks and like these really vibrant colors, marble garden zone. That's the one. And this one just looks like it was another game that they had all these assets for. And then they're like, put Sonic in it. Live magically alongside your Disney and Pixar friends. Cool. Dreamlight Valley was once an idyllic land where Disney and Pixar characters lived in harmony until the forgetting turned this dream into a nightmare. Now, it's up to you to help these iconic residents recover their lost memories and reveal the secrets that led you here. Bring the magic back to Dreamlight Valley in this mesmerizing life simulation adventure. Explore this land's many diverse realms and forge lasting friendships with heroes and villains alike. Everyone you meet. Life simulation adventure? So I have to work all the time? This part's life simulation. Taking a selfie with Ursula? <laughs> what part of life is me walking around? I don't know who to, I don't will know. have personal stories to discover and adventures to complete. Help them out by exploring, giving them gifts, and performing other fun activities. In this world, you can be whoever you dream yourself to be. That's the that's it right there. Can be whoever you dream that's yourself. That's the target. And forge lasting friendships with that was the one. villains. Alike. That was the everyone you meet will have personal stories to discover and there it was. To complete. Help them out by exploring, giving them gifts, and performing other fun activities. In this world. Right there. That's what we're looking for. You can be who you can be whoever you want, as long as you have a credit card. Whoever you dream yourself to be. Disney Dreamlight Valley launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th as an early access title. 
interesting though. I never heard of this game. Take these adventures with you. Here we go. Everyone, everyone buckle in. We're about to get a big time beats the best number one. Oh, gaming wizard. This is the one. You on the go. Let's go. Live Alive is coming alive I knew on it. July 22nd. Multiple stories featuring different protagonists, time periods, and gameplay await. Now in HD 2D. A demo with the start of three chapters, Imperial China, Twilight of Edo Japan. What? And The Distant Future. Ooh. Will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Ooh. Save data from the demo can be transferred to the full game once purchased. Doraemon, Nobi, and their friends land. Wait, this is a different game. Okay, <laughs> I thought I thought this was the distant future part of the trailer. Okay, live a live a live, live alive, live a live. That looked pretty cool. That was cool, wasn't it? Like that looked pretty neat. I think we can all agree that that game. I don't know what it's gonna be. It seems seamless transition. Live a little on an unknown planet and decide to help a new friend fulfill his dreams by farming, plow the fields, harvest crops, and tend to the animals. You can even use Doraemon's secret gadgets to farm in a flash. Relax by living with friends, eating delicious meals, and fishing. <laughs> and with local play, you and a pal can build a ranch together. That's cute. Doraemon Story of Seasons, Friends of the Great Kingdom launches on the Nintendo Switch system this year. Finally, we can farm to the world of Minecraft meets. All right. That's like a good, I don't know. That might be fun. That is by the Harvest Moon devs. However, I will say that the Harvest Moon devs haven't had a, a really good Harvest Moon in a while. But this is a brand new game called... Minecraft. Minecraft! Action strategy gameplay in Minecraft Legends. A beautiful land surrounded by rich nature is invaded by enemies from another dimension. Team up with allies and fight against this monstrous force threatening the world. What secrets await in this new yet familiar universe? Minecraft Legends launches on Nintendo Switch next year. It's a treasure hunter's paradise. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Now this Is this Dragon Quest 10 but offline? Two siblings dream of collecting grand treasures from around the world. No, it's Dragon Quest Venture Treasures. To the realm of Draconia to become legendary treasure hunters. In this Dragon Quest series spin-off, you'll recruit a variety of well-mannered monsters to join you on a marvelous adventure. With their what? Who? Did Kleban name these guys? Did Kleban name these? Goraham? Flit? Great? <laughs> so Eric, uh, okay, so this looks pretty cool though. Fight of the Flight of the Fallen King. This looks like a mobile game too, but you know what? The good thing about Dragon Quest is all of their all of their designs always translate super well to simplicity. It doesn't matter where you pour them. Pour them. With their help and with your trusty fortune finder, locating loot will be a breeze. Monsters are perfect travel buddies for exploring this vast world. Bounce on a slime to reach high ledges. <laughs> or dangle from a dragon to glide over gaping chasms. <laughs> Support your monsters in battle as they fearlessly fend off foes. Bring your hard-earned haul back to your base and see how much it's worth. Collect more riches to expand your base and increase your treasure hunting level. Uh-oh. X marks the spot when Dragon Quest Treasures launches on Nintendo Switch December 9th. Uh, is this the PS5 part? Oh, 
Wow, that game... This game uses cloud streaming technology. Nintendo account and persistent high-speed internet connection required. Not available in all countries. Terms apply. What? What the f... What the fuck does that mean? Because <laughs> that looks amazing. Look at that. This looks all right. Is this We're Portal 3? So much fun together. At first, your participation is appreciated. Oh, this required. is just number one? There might even be cake. The Portal Companion Collection will be available later today. I wanted to call it the Why Do You Keep Killing Me collection, but oh well. Let's get started, you monster. Is that the same voice actress as GLaDOS? Farm, fight, and forge friendships in- Premiere 2. Right here. The new fantasy world. Welcome to Lethe. A peaceful village where seasons brightly color the environment. Your story begins here in this brand new life simulation RPG. What? Oh my! Do a little farm work, cook and craft items, and trek through the fields to collect materials. All while meeting townsfolk along the way. The seasons gently flow from spring, summer, fall, and winter. However, they will give way to the season of death. Quietus. Crops wither. Life is threatened. Find a way to stop the season of death from wreaking havoc on your home. The fate of the village depends on you. Begin your new life in Harvestella, launching on Nintendo Switch November 4th. This next segment will be our last announcement. Please take a look. All right, could be good, I don't know. It seems like there is a lot of like simulation stuff lately. And you know why? Because those games are epic time sinks. And what have we learned, if anything, is that the more we play the games, the more we can slip in some microtransaction. Did you see the Monkey Island gameplay trailer just dropped, Pete? Yeah, we saw it on this, man. We're going to run that back because it's been so far the highlight of the, of the stream for me. Are you going to be a Monster Hunter guy soon? I've always loved Monster Hunter. Uh, I liked World the most of all of the games. Damn, I missed the drop. That's okay. Any predictions? And uh, if you've already seen it, please don't be the guy who ruins it for everybody or the girl who ruins it for everybody. Uh, let me just think. What would you like to see for your final reveal? I would like to see a new Mario game. Like a, like a, a forward move. Like a new Mario game. I would like to see... Not anything else. <laughs> ah, hey, yeah. Listen. Begin your new life in Final Fantasy Farming Edition. The season of Cataclysm, I mean death, will have no lasting effect on the games except to make you spend more money on the game. Premier yep. Smile, Premier Wow. Um, Metroid Prime. That's exactly right, Arthur. Uh, oh, it's a partner showcase. All right, so we're looking at third party. Although they, okay, I see. So uh, Bayonetta is a pretty good one i would like to see something just it's not going to be free to play chrono trigger i did not get a new mario game with rabbits um let me th let me think 
Uh, I would like to. I would love to see something original. Like, I want a new IP. Something just so awesome. But I'm gonna say it's a platformer. Platforming life simulation F02. I knew it. <laughs> life simulation RPG. Mission start. Yeah. Koopo. I'm Morgana, reigning ace of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. And today, I'm bringing along an ultra top secret video. On October 21st, the day after my birthday, 2022, the day after my birthday, we will steal your heart on Nintendo Switch. Please be a Mahjong game. I hope you're ready! <laughs> yup! Persona 5 Royal will launch on Nintendo Switch October 21st! And that's not all! Let's keep the ball rolling! Huh, Teddy? <laughs> right on! Nice baton pass, Morgana! Okay, everyone, Persona check 4. this out! Better bear leave it! Persona 4 Golden and Persona 3 Portable are also coming! And... Magnifique! Keep your eyes peeled for more Persona! On Nintendo Switch! That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. You must coordinate and use the... But how about... Dale Grog? February 2023. A swashbuckling adventure returns. Pirating is in my blood. Yes. Like adrenaline or stale grog. I've been in enough scraps to fill a dozen scrapbooks. I've got stories about ships, fights, love, treasure, betrayal, and root beer. beer. But how about one that has all of the above? My name is Guybrush Threepwood, and this is a story about the time I finally found the secret of Monkey Island. There's Otis and Stan. Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> Murray. The Marley yes, Foundation. Listen. I mean, I would be tempted by Persona being released on Switch, but knowing Nintendo to purchase the games, they would cost in total over £100. <laughs> so I looked at my Xbox and Game Pass where it's confirmed they're included and save myself the pain. Premier Smile Premier Wow. There you go. There are solutions to many of life's problems. I don't know. I, I, I... It's a tough one. I kind of wouldn't hey, mind it on the listen. Switch. Nintendo Switch. We have all the games that already exist and some that you didn't know you didn't want. <laughs> Seriously, we're really banking on Pac-Man. Give us your money. <laughs> I don't know. Is it Bomberman or Pac-Man or... Think of Pac-Man's family! They're trapped!
Did you see the old man on the pier? Listen, Thripweed. It's Threepwood. Guybrush monkey Threepwood. Around in return to Monkey Island, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this year. Launching first on consoles for Nintendo Switch this year. I will stream that day one, 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 one. Yes, that's a day one drop. Okay, I don't know. You know, um, you guys know I don't like being negative on uh, the channel. That is a point I try very hard to make. But I will tell you this. The Nintendo Switch, in general, is my least played console unless I'm streaming. I, like, never played it, barely at all, unless I was streaming on it. It just doesn't do it for me. I don't know why. I'm not one for portable gaming in the first place. Like, I never, ever take... I always take it with me, but I never actually use it. And, uh... Give it to the viewers, then? No, that's not what I'm suggesting. Your hair is fucking awesome today. Also, you're wrong about the Switch. <laughs> what? How can I be wrong about the Switch? I said that I never play it. <laughs> How is that wrong? <laughs> Are you in my house? I'm not trying to be the guy with the hot takes. That's not what I'm trying to say. Um, You play it all the time! You're wrong! You play it in your sleep! Um... That was not really, I don't, I'm sailing, this was the best Nintendo Direct Partner Mini I've ever seen. Honestly, if I was to rate it out of a 10, I can't, because it defied a rating system. Awesome. Uh, no, huh? Very true. Pete, the Stephen A. Smith of video game streamers. Uh, how many have you seen? I'll be honest. This is my first one. Um, let me just... Wait. <laughs> I forgot. Why do I have two breaking... Son of a... God... Double breaking news, Nintendo had a partner mini direct. You probably missed it because no one fucking cares. In other news, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series gaming and a PC are all valid choices for gaming fun. Now, I'll be honest, we saw a lot of trailers today. Monkey Island, Pac-Man, Bomberman, Monster Hunter, a bunch of sequels. Anything original? Yes, Blanc, the only good game released on the system this year. There is no other news. You bought a Switch, you spent your money. The biggest upgrade they've had is an OLED screen two years ago just to make the system marketable. Thank you very much and watching the news today. Now, f off. I'm just kidding. It's breaking, breaking news. That I'll say. I'll tell you what. There was two games, three games that looked really cool to me. Blanc, uh, P Monkey Island, and that awesome RPG. That RPG that was the one with like the kid who's drawing the books. Did you guys? Did you see that one, Jeff? This game looks super dope. Also, economic prosperity. Beats on these. Ali was once forming This was the one that I know we were most excited about. Sorry. Live magically alongside your Disney and Pixar friends. What? Live magically alongside your Disney and Pixar friends. You have no friends at Disney. They don't like you. They want your money. That's it. These are not your friends. Scar's a villain. Scar will kill you. 
and feast on your bones. Buzz Lightyear is shooting someone on a roof behind my head. Do not fall for this. Do not show your kids. September 6th, as an early... You can get it September 6th. Early access title. <laughs> Take these adventures with you on the go. This one looks cool! Live Alive is coming alive on July 22nd. Multiple stories featuring different protagonists. This looks awesome! Time periods and gameplay await. Now in HD 2D. A demo with the start of three chapters, Imperial China, Twilight of Edo Japan, and The Distant Future will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. I'm just Same looking at my highlights. I'm just looking at my highlights because I'm not going to watch purchased. this ever again. This one looks awesome. Doraemon, Nobi, and their friends no. land on an unknown planet. Doraemon, you and a pal. No. 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 Back to no. 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 Up for your own bond in adrenaline. Where was the good one? And now the let's take a look at more headlines. There's something for everyone. On I think I called it right Nintendo here. Switch. During a storm, young alchemist Noah crash lands in ancient ruins. The layout of these multi-layered ruins changes this fall. This one. This right here is the highlight of the thing for me. Better than Live a Live. Uh, not better than Monkey Island, but this was the biggest surprise. I think this game looks really, really, really cool. Dream Job is a game designer. It's Kenta. He's 10 years old. His favorite subject is art. His favorite game is I don't know. This is a cool idea. Joint aspiring game creator Kenta in a I want to be a game designer. Hand-drawn adventure to save the world. In his latest creation, The Legend of Right. Taking place in Kenta's notebook, this RPG spans over 200 pages where you must draw, erase, solve puzzles, and even consult your handy calculator. Discover a new way to play every time you turn the page. RPG time, the legend of- That is so cool. Look at how it has like, it's just, it's like Comic Zone, but for RPGs. You've got like his status and his attack and defense and his equipment up here in the top left. And every time you turn the page, you can zoom in to do like some other cool shit. You have some final showdown thing on the right. This looks really neat. That looks cool. That one I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. That and Pac-Man. That and Pac-Man. <laughs> I'm just I'm just checking really quick and seeing if there was any other separate uh footage. Nope. What's anonymous code? Ah, who cares? Tezukuri that was different. Tezukuri no Bokin ga hajimaru. In Pitsuni, Keshigom. In Pitsuni, Keshigom. Hit point of a measure. What? Game of Daisuke Shonen. Did you see that? That the HP is your measurement? Uh, I gotta get back to work. Glad I could break the news on Monkey Island. Thanks, see ya. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate that. That's pretty cool. Kenta kun ga isatsu no note ni kakiageta Tezukuri RPG. ライトの伝説。魔王軍の手から世界を救うため、勇者ライトの冒険が始まる。200ページ以上にわたるステージには多彩なギミック。<笑> 
が待ち受けるよっよっ This is awesome! されたりコンパスで描かれた鉄球が現れたり鉛筆の剣で攻撃したり手作り感満載の仕掛けが次々に登場さらに電卓や鉛筆削り上履きに手作りスロットなどノートの中だけにとどまらず工夫を凝らしたさまざまなギミックでゲームを盛り上げてくれますスクリンゲームズページをめくるたび新たな遊びが君を待ち受けるさあ冒険の時間だ RPG タイムライトの伝説は8月18日配信本日 And it's cheap! $36 for a Switch game? That's fucking cheap! In Japan, usually games cost like 8,200 yen. Cool. All right, there you guys go. There's your Nintendo Direct.、Uh, I thought that was fun. Thanks for watching with me. Yeah, for the digital version. The other ones, it's a bit more expensive. So we're going to have to pay a little bit extra for the, for, the big, for the big boy. What do you think about the chances for that game to come to the West? It's definitely coming because they showed it on the American the, or the, the English speaking direct. Like they had, a, they had a direct for America and it was included, but that one has, that was a way better trailer. <laughs> that one showed like way more cool stuff. It just showed in the, the Western one, they, they just showed the art style. I like watching special events with you guys. I hope all of those games are good. I genuinely do.、Um, spoiler, some of them will not be. RPG time, rights legend. Damn it, I missed the Nintendo. It's all right, man. It was fun. It was cool to check it out. I, I, we'll be watching all of the, the stuff. But、uh, when they come out, thanks for letting me know that I had no idea that was today. I don't know. I feel like the Persona collection might be a highlight for some, but I mean, Persona 3 came out on the PS2. I bet Persona 5 came out like four years ago. Maybe five. Please don't say it was like 2017. Don't say it. Don't say it. Oh. Oh. No, I know, but Royale's not like a new game. God. That's insane. Six years ago. Six years ago. Yeah. Here's what I think. You want to know my hot take? Can I tell you guys? I'm going to tell you, and it's, it's not 100% guaranteed hot take. Hey there, Bambinas. I'm about to drop a hot take on all of you, but first. Oh, the song's ending. Uh oh. I want to get rid of this breaking news. All right. Here, here's, my, here's my hot take. People always say that they really, really, really want backwards compatibility in all their game systems. I can't play my PS2 games on my PS5? You motherfuckers! They don't care. 98% of the people don't care. They want the option, yes, but they rarely, if ever, genuinely use it. You know what they really want? They want to pay more money for a remastered version of a game that they already own to get rid of the kind of annoying shit from the limitations that it used to have. That's the truth. I, you don't want to rebuy games you already own? I understand. I understand. Nobody does, but we do. <laughs> but we do. But that's all we buy. People like it because it's a nice peace of mind. You know what I mean? 
It's why we buy Final Fantasy X twice. It's why we buy Final Fantasy XII twice. It's why we buy Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. Of course you'll take both. Of course, of course. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong to want it. But I think people often overlook that most of those games, they'll be excited when they get it. But then you have it. And then you put it in your, you put your PS1 disc of Final Fantasy VIII inside your whatever machine. And honestly, it's hard to play. It's very hard. It's slow. It's bad. It's graphics are not as good. You know what you really want? You really want to play about $17.99 for a three times speed version with remastered hey, graphics. Listen. I still think Laurel Eyes with her lacy dice is going to be a banger. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're right. It could be. You know what you really, really want? You want Tony Hawk 1 and 2 with a manual that's in now Tony Hawk with updated graphics. That's what you want. You know what you really don't want? Persona 3 on the PS2 and Persona 5 on the PS2. Because you don't really want that. You want the better versions that also came out eight years ago. <laughs> oh! Or Persona 3 and 4, right. Well, the PS Chrono Trigger did have cool cutscenes, and it, so did Final Fantasy VI, but they had some really bad loading times. Laura's Lice and the Laser Guys. Persona 5, 2DS only. That'd be pretty sweet. Hey, look, you're talking to it. I love retro games. Ready? <laughs> But you, you really don't... People don't want the old Tony Hawk. They want a real Tony Hawk in their yard with a half pipe. No, but I've always thought that was the weirdest concession. There's Lufia right here. I always thought it was so fascinating that people would... You know what it was? Here's what I think happened. If I was to use Big Brain Pete, which is not a real statement because I don't have a big brain. I think what happened was... When we made the transition from P uh, Super Nintendo to PlayStation, the Super Nintendo games, when you play them now, still hold up really, really well. Shit, so do Nintendo. So do some N64 games. One, you eliminate the loading times, which is a just, a just absolutely brutal, b brutal revisit on any of the disc games. <clears throat> I would say a lot of PlayStation games don't hold up as well. Despite me liking them more, RPGs are the ones that hold up the best because of their slow, more, you know, slow pace. They hide the loading. But, it, you know, I think a lot of people would be willing to pay for... They have these big-ass 70-inch TVs now. And when you put a PlayStation 1 game on a 70-inch TV and it's not optimized for it, you're like, you're like, oh, oh, God damn it. Let me just have Final Fantasy X remastered, please. So there you go. It's the CRT and massive TV stuff. Yeah, definitely, I think that. It's all of our nostalgia goggles, and I love retro games. I just did a PlayStation 1 run back, but you know what was most interesting about that? Do you know what my favorite part of that PlayStation 1 rerun is that a lot of the games we barely played for an hour before we got like, oh my god. Ooh, we need a palate cleanser. Let's switch games and go to the Wheel of Fate because those games are hard to revisit. Still pretty cool. Pretty cool. The Switch seems to be the console of like, you know, I want... It's like going to a little buffet. I want everything, and it's not going to taste as good as if I went to a steakhouse, but you know what? I got it all right here. That's what I would classify my Switch as. Just a nice all-food buffet that was made very quickly. I like your hair today, Pete. It looks really nice. I would do absolutely anything in my life to recreate this hair day every day. <laughs> But I don't know what I put in there to make it look like this. And now I'm just really disappointed that I don't know what to do. Oh well. They do have buffets in Japan. They're called Viking style. Biking. 
But even the, the buffets in Japan usually come with like a two or three hour limit. But you know what? I'm excited for the Switch. I'm excited for my Switch buddies who, who want to, to play Switch games. I'm excited for people who like that stuff. Go for it. I'm all in. I'm happy for you. I hope it's cool. What's up, Quaggy-san? How you doing, buddy? I'll tell you what, though. Uh, I've been going for about three hours and 40 minutes, and I have to go to the bathroom. Then we're going back to a little bit of this. A little bit of Hollow Knight. Actually, the next roulette will probably be Super Nintendo Roulette. It'll be a Super Nintendo roulette toe. I think we're going to put 20 games on the Super Nintendo Wheel of Fate. And, um... Have some fun with that. If you guys are enjoying this and you haven't yet, I would cordially invite you to join the Discord where you can post pictures of your pets. You get all the up-to-date information of when I'm going live and what we're doing here. And I hope that uh, you introduce yourself or post your art, post your music, talk about games. There's even a channel called Anime, which I never go into unless I go in there like once a week and I do that. And then I get the, get the f out of there. I throw in an ayaya ay, ay, and then I run away. Schedule subject to change at all times. Well, you know what I do now is I kind of do this thing in the morning when I wake up and I, I write on this Discord, here is what today's plan is. So there's no more confusion. Way too dank. All right, so I gotta go to the bathroom really quick because we've been hitting it pretty hard with the content and I'm out of coffee. I need some the ground quakes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't delete no posts. Thank you very much. Noff and off. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. It's toilet time. It's toilet time. I'll see you guys in just a minute. Uh, until then, enjoy fecal matter. I am really into it. Give me the fecal matter and put that shit right down my throat and in my brain. Don't imagine that they're naked. It makes it weird. Did you get your gun training at Stormtroopers Academy? No. I just a natural shot. Why? I have not used the bathroom in a while. I wonder if there's a bigger poop that I'll take later. Oh, he sh Ooh, what the hell? Ooh, we got some hype, 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 hype. I'm a sexy woman. I have a poco chimpoco. That means small penis. Oh, shit. I've been sweating a lot and terrified and embarrassed. Oh shit, Mortal Kombat 11? Let's get back into some gaming.
What's up, Moogle Jedi? Uh, okay, okay. I got the big shit right here. Green tea. That was quick? It was. I just had to use the bathroom. Let's, uh, let's have some green tea together. You know the good thing about green tea? It's zero calories. Literally zero. And this thing costs like a dollar. You know what's the good thing about washing your hands in Japan? Is that you live right next with the... There's no space to like travel to do anything. I walk like eight steps to the bathroom. And then three steps to the sink. I usually bring my phone and check Reddit for 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> I do too, off stream. And what's up, sweet? Uh, when I usually go to like take a bath or, or relax, it's phone time, baby. But we can't check Reddit while I'm working here. Uh, green tea. You never disappoint me. I always disappoint you guys. Let me see here. Where were we going? Another door! Alright. Oh, I need to change the title. Uh, actually... Any, any mods have a clever one? Do you guys have something fun? Oh. I was checking KR Blade's message. Anyone who does not take their phone to the restroom is either lying or somehow doesn't have a phone at this point. Everyone. Squats. I almost said squirts. Let's go with squirts. Squirts and surfs. I think you're right. I think that's the nature of the beast. It's like... And you know what's hilarious is it's it's that's actually disgusting. <laughs> We're just sitting there on the toilet just and everyone's like, did you wash your hands? I did. I also just took a shit with my phone right near my crotch for 20 minutes. You did? Yeah, because who cares? Everyone takes their phone with them. You're right. It's kind of a weird, weird thing. We're a weird society of judging others. My Kindle rests next to my so toilet, so I don't take the phone. You know what? That's a good idea. That's old school. Because back in the day, we used to have, like... What would we do? We would have books in there. You would have books specifically designed to be, like, amusing and short. So that people who were visiting could, could read something amusing. There'd even be books you could buy called, like, The Bathroom Book. Or some stupid, or like Garfield or Foxtrot, Farside, toilet books were a thing. Now I just miss cartoons, uh, the, the Sunday morning and Saturday, like the paper ones when I thought about all those. 1,000 facts! Readers digest as you undigest your playbook. Statistically, 269 people are on the toilet in this stream right now. Wait, 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 wait. How many people are here? 260. There's 411 people. You're telling me they're all... You say over half of them are checking their phone? All right. Can confirm. <laughs> Uh, Mos Mosudos? I've been saying this my entire life. I've been saying this forever. You should wash your hands before you use the restroom, and then again after. But I don't know. How about this? Don't tell me if you are. Let's just leave it to my imagination. In fact, I don't want to imagine everyone's on, because, you know... It you're, if you're about to, like, touch and prod area around there that could be, like, technically one of the most vital organs that's exposed in your body, shouldn't your hands be clean? What if you were... What if you were... 
walking around and touching public transportation and seats and sneezing and cleaning snot or whatever you're doing. And then you're like, I'm going to go touch my privates. <laughs> Doesn't that sound dangerous? Maybe we should just sanitize our butts. Okay, this is not the conversation I envisioned. All right, uh, let me give the attention. Attention, hollow nest nerds. Attention, hollow test, hollow nest nerds. Where do we go to unlock more things? Repeat, where do we go to unlock more things? Thank you. Give me back my forehead. Not, not the Nintendo store, the resting ground. Thank you. I will now go to the resting grounds. Thank you. Do you have a list of games you played in the past somewhere? I do. On the Discord that I previously mentioned, you can check the Hall of Game. The Hall of Game is every single game I've played on stream, for the most part. And I give ratings on what I feel is their stream official ranking. Ah, I'm not on the Discord yet. Thanks. It's a useful place. I know that Discords can get annoying and clunky with alerts and stuff. But, uh, using my long nail to scratch my... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's see what people think about that. That's very specific. <laughs> I would have gone with, my dream nail's not small, it's modest. That's what I would have gone with. Perhaps. Ah, Wilda, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream nail. Ah! I already did this one. So that's not the one. What's up, Quaggy san After talking to the seer, check the bottom right corner. Ah! Arigato gozaimasu. Alright, let's go take a look. We played Ratchet and Clank, and there's a guy named Zero Cool. He's a member of the community. He joined the stream live because he helped level des- What's up, MJ? I speak the most American Japanese. Clarify your statement, please. Like my pronunciation? Up your arsenal was very good. Wait. Thought I heard something. Oh, that was them. No? You mean... I don't think I... I disagree. I do not... Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, shit! My face! Oh, okay. I am not a software dev. I'm a dork. I have very few skills uh, that I can carry over. I knew there was one here. Oh God. Treasures, coins, all mine. Got 
Got one. I feel like we missed one small thing really quick, though. We got the little grubby. We never went left. We never ever go left. We never go left. Huh? <laughs> Did you get a new scarf with your year's salary of donations? Uh... <laughs> I did not get a new scarf yet. But, um... You know... I will. Oh god, my face! And it's not a year's salary of donations, don't... We're, I have big aspirations for this stream. We're going to keep... We're going to be like that, uh... We're going to Michigan! Then we're going to Iowa! And then we're going to take back the White House! Yeah! That's going to be us. So, Lita. Like Sukadin. Thank you. Let me rest. He's dead. We're gonna go to TwitchCon! And then we're gonna go to Comic-Con! And then we're going to go to take back all of Twitch! <laughs> I'm looking forward to an IRL with you. I enjoyed the one you did with Connor and Chris. That's not Alex Jones. That's, a. Uh... What was the senator's name? Howard Dean? I remixed that Howard Dean speech years ago. Sadly, the track is lost forever. Uh, thanks to MySpace losing most content from their music. That's too bad. That was a great... That was a... There it is. Oh, bitch! It did ruin it. It didn't basically. It did. Fascinating. Alright, here's the good news. Um, we're not taking over Twitch. <laughs> Believe it or not. I, I don't think that's in the cards. Um, let me check something. I missed a thing. I knew it. Update, just so you know. I want you guys to know now. Saturday, I'm going to Akihabara with my mate Doc Decor and more. I'll be there for a while by myself first. Then Dot's going to join. And then we're going to be going to Akihabara IRL stream this Saturday. That's going to be awesome. Um, and then we're also going to meet some guys and girls at night. Guys at uh, around Akihabara. Have some drinks. Have some izakaya foods. Have a, like a four or five piece person party maybe where you guys can see what socializing is kind of like in japan secondly almost certainly confirmed on saturday japan J saturday japan i do include girls i just trying my best to meet some so <laughs> No, and also Yuki doesn't like to be on camera for that kind of stuff. She's been on camera before, though. I know Emma and Yuki, and Emma's more than welcome to join, of course. She's got an open invitation. They don't include me, yes. Uh, anyway, the other thing is, is on, I changed it. Earlier I said it was going to be Tuesday night seeing Chris. I was wrong. Wednesday night. 
Wednesday night, I'm meeting Chris and possibly a surprise guest. Emma Slander is the no. Emma's amazing. I but her and Yuki are are literally the only two people I know. And Charla, Charla's my buddy. And Chiaki, I know girls. Never mind. I already said you're the number one. You don't like to be on stream. Meeting Mr. Crisp next Wednesday, unless I change it again. Yes, that's that's very true. So Saturday and Wednesday, if you crave IRL action, I will be your anti- Aha! Aha! Arthur Pandavirius, thank you for sending a special subscription to our scribe, Jim Tindo. I missed Jim Tindo's message. Pete, it is finally written. I finally finished the Chris Broad interview. Sadly, I had to cut the things he said about you as it was incredibly libelous. And we have rules against swear words. <laughs> good. You knew they were all falsehoods. Um, it's going good, Gray Ash Monster. How you doing? Did you? Are you publishing it today? How can we read this this fine article? How are you doing, Gray? Ah, Mehan, this world, this cruel, sinful world. Why does she wake? Why does she persist? Ah, Lemaire. What language is this? Trying to be connected to? Her own. You could not know if the tragedy is complete as Shay's. True lovers stripped apart. Two worlds that could not meet. And now Melella lover dead as long in time. Dead so far away. Buried? Moina? I? Amongst its hateful kin, they did deny our union. That did reject Shay's. Outside. He doesn't suppose. Nalo Nalo. Could she ask? Could she burden? Lemire, would you... Could you deliver a gift to her grave? The gift is... Maybe small, but the trek is long. She rests amongst her kind near our queen's lush refuge. Would such a thing be done? She asked perhaps impossible things. Mad things. For Lemire to take up such a request would be a kindness she has now forgotten. Yes. Rare boon you grant La Mer, it will be Shea's last request. After this, never shall she lay burden on another. A sacred flower is the offering. It is rare, delicate object. One of a kind, you must cherish it. Must act as though it were your own heart. If you were to get hearsed while carrying it, or did attempt to ride those jolting transit beasts, it would be lost forever and destroyed. Her grave lies in the middle of the Queen's overgrown estate. It is surrounded by her kind, who will not look kindly on your trespass. Take care, La Mer. My hopes I place upon you and my fervent wish that this small solace come to pass. Oh! Ah, oh, no, no, nails and claws. Why must it be so? Shh. Shit. Really? Oh. Oh boy. 
So, we need to go from the resting grounds all the way to the Queen's Garden, which is over here. And we start all the way over there. So through the resting grounds, under the blue lake, through the forgotten crossroads, down near the fog canyon, and then ending in the Queen's Garden. Good night, Ramnik. Can we use the gate? Is that possible? Because that's what I would do. Good night, buddy. Road trip! Wow. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. You mean put the gate here. Put the gate right here so that when I inevitably fail, I I can try again. Great. So you think I can't do it on my first three tries? No. <laughs> That didn't count. And uh, I would walk 500 miles, and uh, I would walk 500 more Just to be the man who walked a thousand miles and wound up at your door I can't even see shit What did you do to break it? Um, I ran straight into a monster Charlatan! <laughs> yeah, lucky I can't see! Oh, and a fun game mechanic. As long as you don't bench, I believe some enemies don't respawn. Ah, oh, Christ. First monster down! Sentry down! Well, okay, part of it's learning the path. One zone. Clear! Uh... Through the blue lake. Bafanada. Dumbass. Tried to swipe me. Damn it.
first I walked, then I flew. Now we'll try again. So right here, we're in the resting grounds. We got to make it all the way to the Queen's Gardens. So basically across the entire map. May I ask? Tusty! Jesus fucking Christ. What is the reward for this? Don't say it's the pale ore. Hey, no respawn. A mask shard. It's the friends we made. No, stop, stop, no, stop. Uh, I don't know if I'm going for 100%, but I want to show you guys that I'm no chicken. Get out of my face, Dumbledink. Consulting my map. Okay. Again we meet, my short friend. Here at last, I feel at peace. Twice I've seen this world and through my service may have stripped the first experience from me. I'm thankful I could witness its beauty again. Hallow Nest is a vast and wondrous thing. But with you, but with as many wonders as it holds, I've seen none quite so intriguing as you. <laughs> my... Flattery returns only silent stoicism. I like that. I like that very much. Incredible. Peace! There we go. What's up, Gib? All right. Uh All right, wait. Let me let me chart the path. Let me chart the path. We go up. Wait, 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 wait. I wonder if we should go through the Fungal Wastes or Fog Canyon. Fog Canyon is awful. You know? But the Fungal Wastes is pretty large. Hey, what, what's up, Malevolent? Thank you, man. Green Path is better. But we... Oh, you're right. Green... Green. <laughs> green path it is. What? Okay, but we've never made the same mistake twice. Oh no, don't! Ugh. No resting either. Oh, fuck you! Bullshit! Alright, I got an idea. I got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got an idea, guys. I've got an idea. Trust me. This is the way. We're gonna, mar we're gonna run the path first, okay? Oh no! The stupid dash! 
God damn it. VOD viewers skip two days. Okay, okay, let's chart this path first. That way we can learn it, we can learn our enemies, and then we will adapt and overcome. Hello, sounds like you know, I have an idea. I have an idea, Bill Gates. How are you doing today? And we're gonna kill... My face! What in the... Okay, Pete, 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 Pete. Do monsters reset when you dream gate? That not doesn't look like they do. Some do, some do not. So we cross through this path here. Easy peasy. What's up, hidden? Oh dear. He's dead. Okay. This time we cross here. Come this way. Oh! <laughs> that would have been to cross up through here. Kill that scummy. Cross this way. Get out of that body. Okay. Kill. Check. Green path. Keep going straight. Staying in the same level. Staying on 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 the same level. Okay. Second gate. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Okay, don't stay on the same level. 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 At this little tiny post sign, we go up, up, chop, up, 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 dash. Got it. <sighs> this is a bad quest. That's okay, we would have normally been hit there. Now we know there's bugs. You guys have done this quest? Like, you guys actually did this? Yes! Really easy quest, mate. Really? How do you figure? You gotta have, like, immense faith in your abilities. And not get bit in the asshole. Like that. <laughs> You're right, it's all about having belief in not choking. And if I know me, I'm not a choker at this game. I'm usually like, uh, I have a nickname in this. They call me Mr. Automatic. Yeah, we're not gonna sit on the bench. We're not gonna sit on the bench. Can we go this way? I thought they called you PETA. Well, you know, you can... Oh, God. This... You know what? This is nothing. This is easy. We just go like this. Easy. 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 
Easy. Into the green path we go. All right. And then all we got to do through this is go through like three or four screens. How you doing, Alva? We're doing this quest where if you take one point of damage, you're screwed. And there's everybody explodes into juice now and kills you. Which is a challenge. This seems to be the safest path, to be honest. You know what I mean? This definitely seems, at least this stage is pretty easy. As long as you don't screw up any of this stuff, like the easy stuff. And these guys all die to one hit. Easy, simple. Easy peasy. Go down. people who do the entire game without a single hit of damage. <laughs> yeah, that's a very fair comparison to me. Alright, so we're gonna have to be careful on... Just don't worry about that thing. I feel like comparing those people to me is really not gonna be the best boost of confidence. Do the little spooter do the little spooter guys help you if you choose them wrong way wrong way wrong way good morning from Detroit what's up man okay The problem is, is if I do that, I have to rest at a bench. This is definitely the easiest of the paths. Uh-oh, we gotta do a little dipsy doodle, though. No, we don't. Alright, so we're in the right place. Now, where on the map do we literally taking the longest path? I'm gonna tell you a secret. I've never done this before. Not once. I have no clue what's the fastest, shortest, or longest. Literally none. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? I don't know if it's literally the longest path. What's up, Run Run? You said it with, like, such pain in your voice. What's the, uh... What's the place we take it to? Where's her grave? Which one of, which one of these things is it? What's up, sweet? On top of the bench. So the... It's above the bench with the stag. All right. On the way back, let's take the Fog Canyon, shall we? Oh, that guy almost got me. I see it. Hey, listen! There is the right way, the wrong way, and the Pete way. The Pete way is usually a combination of the former. 
<laughs> yes, it is. You, you're very much right. The Pete way is always the worst way. I always screw it up, Mr. Wolf. You know I do. Oh, so these guys would be screwing up my run right here. Well, I don't have the uh, flower with me. We're scouting the path right now. Pete is usually the task failed successfully. Oh, no. I have my crappy shits on. Yeah, we're not... We're not doing this way. We'll take the fog canyon. We'll see. I see. Okay. So, there's the right way, the wrong way, and the max power way, which is the wrong way, but faster. Okay. The problem is, is I've, I've come so far... Have any of you guys ever done that right there? You get all the way to the end, and then you, like, just... I brought you a broken flower. All right, now let's go check out the other path. So if we were gonna take the Fog Canyon. We would be this way. Yes. And then do we take the, the up canyon or the right canyon? I'm definitely going to hit the spikes right before the grave. There's there's zero the sharp shadow might kill the big jellyfish. Up canyon or right canyon? Ooh. I don't like these guys. The right is usually the best way. Okay, let's take a look. I'm going to die to one of those six times. Guaranteed. I'll choke so bad. I'm gonna choke like 25 times over. So we're in the Queen's... So we need to go through here, through the Teacher's Archives, into the Fungal Wastes. Hey, free room. Free room right here, though. That's good. Free room. We could all use a little more room. Okay, now this is the tough part. Here is the tough part. But if I play it safe and don't lose my cool, we'll be just fine. Premier jam, premier jam, premier jam. Easy free room right here too. Those don't come back. Hold on. Shosho machi kudasai. Oh! Later, Vern. Have a good one, buddy. I didn't see you say goodbye there. I gotta head out for the night. Good night, everyone, and have a very fun rest of the stream. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for being here today. I appreciate it. Have a good one, bud. 
I hope you liked the Nintendo Direct. I know I was being a salty little baby about it, but I didn't mean anything seriously. <laughs> I love those guys. Those guys are like my favorite enemy ever in a video game. They go right for the heat-seeking missiles. Oh boy. Okay. That's okay, we can play it safe here. I, I already got a strategy for that. I already got a strategy for that one. What's up, Evie? How you doing today? Thanks for coming back again tonight. Hope you're doing well. Don't touch those. Have you ever played Fall Guys? It's a pretty fun party game to play with chat. I have played with chat, actually. We've played Jackbox. We've played, um... We've played Jackbox. We've played... Do I want to go... Really quick. Do I want to go up or do I want to go... I think I want to go up. I've played What the Dub. In fact, there's a there's a long history of playing games with the community, and there will be a time for that, I promise. But uh, those games are a bit hard to organize sometimes. For example, when's the next team stream? I don't know. I miss playing with you and it's about time I reclaim my 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 badge. There will be there will be a team stream coming back soon. It, there really will. Right now the um to be quite frank, the the trickiest part of all of this is balancing Oh, you is balancing things like so Team Stream Saturday is um, where me versus you on a lot of different games. And if you beat me, if you beat me, you can win a coveted VIP badge for a few weeks. If you fail, then you get nothing. You lose. Good day. You have to gift 35 subs. That's not true at all. Um... But the problem is those games are, those are kind of stressful. You know? For me to set up, to organize. Plus, uh, as I was saying, to be quite honest, I've got a lot on my plate right now. I've got my main games that I'm trying to beat and then I have, I'm not gonna hit those, I swear, on the actual day. I've got my main games I'm trying to beat, and I also have, like, this IRL stuff that we've implemented into the channel, which is becoming, like, a once-a-week thing, because I gotta make sure I get use out of the... the cost of, of purchasing it all. So... It's gonna take me a little bit of time to figure out how to do everything. Does that make sense? I know it's disappointing, because a lot of people really like Team Stream Saturdays, and... Hanging out and playing games, and it's coming back. It's coming back. Well, whatever you do, man, I'll still have fun watching you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate that, too. Yeah, I think teams, or I think the IRL stuff will be a really fun distraction throughout the weeks and, and like doing all that stuff. I think that'll be a really, really fun addition to the channel plus um, I honestly still one of my favorite parts still about streaming is just doing this right here because we get to hang out and chat and do like stuff that's right Gaijida you know it you helped me organize a little bit more of that IRL goodness today 
of which I am very grateful. Thank you. How was your stream, by the way? Did you guys have fun? Did you guys get everything done? Did you get everything locked and loaded? It was great! My feet are so blistered. That just means you did a great job. about a follower challenge for Akihabara? X amount of subs or followers, you have to buy an inappropriate statue from Ami Ami. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm gonna... Alright. I gotta stretch. Let me stretch. And then I can't even show it on stream. I could just take your money and say I bought it. Two things. Two things. I'm not gonna dash through the elevator. Don't dash through the elevator. Don't dash through the elevator. Don't dash through the elevator. Um, two things. One is that I usually, actually I've never had like sub goals or follower goals or or those things on the screen. They may be coming, not follower goals, but maybe someday we'll try some things like that, right? But for now, I just want to practice giving you guys a pretty authentic experience with no expectation of, you know, letting pay for this pay for that and i do this and i do that um hopefully we just enjoy what i've got planned or what naturally transpires through the night but i will say um one of the big goals i have and it's gonna take me it's gonna take me a while stream live from the akihabara hub for an hour before an idol show now that you are gonna join me with zudu you know we're gonna get those cranberry juice and ciders but one of the things i'm really really keen on learning how to do is have a thing called R Pete G or Pete's Quest or whatever, where I will have a quest log once a month and I'm going to go to a random station that I'm not familiar with and we're going to have to find uh, two shrines, um, purchase a t shirt or a suit of armor, or uh, eat at a Yaki Niku restaurant, Yakitori restaurant, or just like a quest. Pete's Quest. That'll be once a month, I think, and I want it to look and feel right, so it's going to take me a bit of time, but that's kind of in the same vein as you suggesting, you know, why don't you do this to buy an inappropriate statue. If you want, you could you could say, like, here's $20, I want Pete to equip a new hat. Now, that just means I'm covering the cost for buying the hat to then put it on my head for the rest of the stream. That's the, that's the, um, we're going to eat at Cat's Gate, so that's going to be tough to find. But, like, those things are possible. But until then, I have to learn two things that I'm excited about. One is I'm not good at walking and doing things. I've almost been hit by traffic, like, 13 times. Ian, my buddy Zudu, is like, wait, 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 mate, this is a... You can't walk in the middle of a highway. I'm like, what? Two is I want to be able to... And this is going to take me a long time, I think. Uh, is I want to be able to check with chat, do what I'm doing in IRL... Keep you guys informed, let you be a part of the stream. Trying to do that at the same time as, as not worrying about all the technical stuff is going to be my initial challenge up front. But signs of love overshadow bad dreams. Here's $10 for Pete to get a haircut, etc. No, no, that is not in play. No haircuts. Every time, look at the picture in the frame. So yes, I am the character in an RPG. Don't it, it, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yay! Pete's the best. Go, Pete. Ooh, gaming You're wizard. You're number one. I'm not. You okay? I've been growing out my my hair for like twenty for like twenty ah! months. <laughs> And you have discerned that one dollar per month is equal for me to go go bald. That's that's the number you've set on. How about I'll give you twenty bucks for you to shave your head? That's missing several zeros. <laughs> 
I'm very afraid it won't grow back. All right. How many zeros? Enough zeros that we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yes, the, the sense we're missing. I was just making sure that this was 20 exactly, and you weren't going to add in some weird extra... flower? Okay. My fight buddy! your moves Why don't you go home and be a family man? Oh. <laughs> okay. Sonic boom! Sonic boom! Sonic boom! Boom! Sonic? Hoo a cow! <laughs> okay, okay. Took a wrong turn somewhere. All right, here we go. Boom. 
Sonic! Hyper, 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 uppercut. Please wait. Moment of truth. Which one do you do? That one? Is that the safer? That's the safer. We're going to find out when I screw it up again. <laughs> People call me automatic. Uh, I got, I got nervous. I just want to say good luck. We're all counting on you. I'm gonna blow it again, you know I will. Oh! Tradition survived. Alright, I need a- I need a- I need a- What's my go-to, like, I'm about- to, I have a lot of go-to kick-ass tracks. Not this one. Maybe... All right, here we go. Here we go! Wizard. 
Don't touchy. Wait a minute. Shit! <laughs> Shut up! Don't drive angry. Not the song we're looking for. This is not cool, man. Hold on a minute, guys. I need one second, please. Shushu much kudasayo. This one's making me nervous! Ah, it's too fast! <laughs> no! 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 I... No! I didn't do it! I didn't even touch it! It's... Why? I didn't even do it! Hey, listen! The life of everyone on board depends upon just one thing. Finding someone back there who can not only fly this stream, but who didn't have fish for dinner. Uh. That song is way too jacked! J-Mac, you're right. That was a bad choice. I got nervous, and then I saw one easy-peasy. Cambom's music has too high tempo for me. I get nervous. I think it's just, I think I could, I'm just bad. There's not even any enemies to fight. I'm just dumb. This is Castlevania, stage six, against death.
This is too fast. This is too fast. Ah! The die has been cast. The die has been cast. This is Premier Metal. You're not ready for this one. But someday your kids will be. Woo! Sorry. Okay, next track. That's going to get me there. I need something that's going to get me there. Have a good night, Shag Brack. Ooh! <laughs> 
yeah. yes. Pete's the best. Go, Pete. Boo, oh, gaming wizard. You're number one. Oh, yes. <laughs> there we go. Check. GG. Okay. Meh, Limer, you have done this thing. Thank you so much, malevolent god. Is it possible? This world's cruelty, I thought it overwhelming, but Limer, such a great compassion that Chase Love would know her partner's heart even aeon past. Is that Limer? Such grief can end. She can end. Ooh, Anna, dear love, she too can end. What's up, Norwick? Power up. I've been streaming for five hours. Not game over. Not even close. <laughs> um. Okay, another quest in the bag. We got it. All right. That was a tough one. But finally, I can rest. Bloop. Ooh, Bubba. Got it, Joel Pete. Got it, Joel Pete. Arigato gozaimasu. However, I'm thinking about. Do you have the Soul Sanctum key? Of course I do. Uh, I need one more vessel fragment. I need one more pale ore. I have the Shade Mantis Crystal, Monarch, King's Map, Loomfly, Ismas, Tram, Elegant, Love. Pale and rancid eggs. I do not have. I do not have the elegant key or the sanctum soul sanctum key. We did not do the pleasure house yet, yet unless you mean my channel. And we have twelve. I gotta find two more of these like dream ghosts because I've only. I don't know where either of these go. This says it's from the soul sanctum. Soul Eater. Greatly increases the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy with a nail. Awesome. Not even close, DG. Golden Nugget of the Hive's precious hardened nectar. Heals the hair's wounds over time, allowing them to regain health without focusing soul. Nice. That seems useful. Very useful. I might be able to use that in the uh, the pits or whatever. Choto mate kudo soy. Time for Grim now. What's Grim? <laughs> no, I'm not doing the Coliseum until I get. One more pale ore. Maybe I haven't gotten the ore from the grubs. Let's. I thought I did, but maybe. I haven't been there in a while. Let's go take a look. 
My, f I noticed you guys briefly. Um, I got one from the Coliseum, I think. One of the, um, my favorite fantasy author is Stephen Bruce. Are you... Are you enjoying this game, DG Medic? Do you think it's a cool game? I think I recently visited the Grubs not too long ago, honestly. Pete, are you telling me to please wait, or are you telling me, please, to have something? What did I say? I already forgot. I know that the grubs gave me, like, a mask once. But... Hey, welcome back, Plemons. I appreciate you coming back for month number two. Genuinely appreciate that. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Domo, stay shimashita. Ya. Ikoze ne. Bamfanada. It looks cool, but Metroidvanias, if that's what these is, stories are super hard to follow. You're not wrong there, my man. They're very, very, very confusing. Two months! Ronso Fangs, I promise that's gonna catch on someday. I hope it does. It's on me, but I just have to redirect my attention back to work so often that it all starts to just look the same. That's not on you, man. That's not on you at all. That's just the nature of these games. One day, I know, I know. We'll have like a premiere, you know, premiere yay for subs, for numbers. It's gonna happen. The thing about this game in general, not just to DG, but to... Hold on a minute. Feeling tired? That bench may be iron, but I assure you it's quite comfortable. There's no better place to collect your thoughts before crafting in the Herodric uh, uh, heading below. Plus, I enjoy the company. I used to be strung up in that old town of Tristram. Uh, Sorry, you don't seem the talkative sort. Stay a while and listen. So, I think Metroidvanias are really about do you enjoy playing, like, the gameplay and the tough battle systems and enjoying, like, that... Ah! That aspect of the game. If not, it's, it's kind of... They're very, very hard to follow. Even me, who's been playing the entire time. I don't recognize any of this shit. Feed me a pale ore, grubs. I demand it. Not subs. Sub gifts. Could it be? Do I have a song for this? Do I? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, Phoenix.
Kurt and Bernie. <laughs> Shut up. Pete's the best! Go, Pete! You're number one! Woo, gaming wizard! <sighs> Should have collected more subs. Uh, 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 grubs. Meet me at Grubs. No grub, boo. Grub or bust? Grub or bust? Double disappointment! Thanks for the stream today. Uh, thanks for the stream today so far, Patty. Appreciate it during the long shifts of number crunching. My pleasure. And I've got news for you guys. Are you excited or what? Because tomorrow's going to be another... Doesn't work. That one. And well, what's up, Cupcake? Tomorrow is another Premier 2 Super Stream where we start in the afternoon and we hit it and we hit it hard. Count me in. Should be, oh my God. Chris broke Randy in half with the unforgiving 10. So tomorrow we're looking at starting around, if I can wake up in time, 10, 11.30 or 12. Ouch, my face. Time to get some rest now then? Yeah, I'm about ready. Found your channel after watching an older Sea Dog VA IRL stream. Your story about drinking with the Russian guy was gut-bustingly hilarious. Ah, the old... I actually think he's Ukrainian, but... Vladimir is a good friend of mine, and... We had a good laugh at, uh, my expense on that night. Old Smegma. But I appreciate you coming... He was Ukrainian, but, you know, he has a Russian accent. And I... It's like he was... From my understanding, he lived in Russia. He lived in Russia, Ukraine, Belarus... I think he supports right now the Ukrainian movement, but he lived in like multiple places. It is not all the same, nor would I imply that, but I'm saying that he is a very interesting person. No, 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 it's not your confusion, buddy. I think it was, it's commonly, you know, it's it's all good. So it's, it's easy to mix up and, it, and it's like, um, he grew up in a lot of different countries. Well, I appreciate you liking that story, man. It was a lot of fun. I was nervous as hell to be there, but I think that Chris and Connor made it super easy to be telling stories and having some laughs, and I appreciate that you found your way here, so thank you very much. Hell yes. Uh, did I see his Instagram story? Who, Vlad's? I did not. Can you tell me more? What was it? I've worked a couple of Ukrainian. They do not like Russia, at least the ones I've known. I can understand that sentiment 100% right now. Uh, he's now like an expert biker. My buddy who made me drink the baby water. He bikes everywhere, like every day, two or three hours of hardcore cycling. All right, I guess the question is, uh, what else are we missing? We have... It... Yeah, because he's my buddy. Is there... He is, yeah, of course. 
Okay, yes. Y what's that, Yuki? Yeah. Where is the... Um... Soul Sanctum? What? He got hit by a car? He's fine, but his bike is totaled? Well, that's terrible. Hope he gets... He's fine? At least he'd be fine. No kidding, but that's... That's quite the shock. His bike was literally under it. Looked terrifying. Well... He is a very resilient person. I'm glad that he's all right. Got to be safe biking nowadays, sure. I didn't... I... I didn't Metal Gear Solid a hit and run. I... I Metal Gear Solid... The shock. That he was fine. He went to the hospital in his next video, two hours later, was him riding someone else's bike. <laughs> That's bad. That is definitely... That's 100% Udaji. I'll have to give him a message and make sure he's alright. Damn, that's crazy. He had a really nice bike, and uh, I'm sure he'll just get a better one now. He's got no time to be injured. So hardcore cyclist indeed. No kidding. All right. It's not the impaler, believe it or not. All right, let's pretend for one minute. <laughs> Let's pretend for one minute that I have no idea when you said left side of the City of Tears. Do you... And you said, you know, where you got the ground and pound. Uh... Uh... You mean like here? <laughs> ah, of course I remember that. Oh, the door, the door icon, the door icon. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, I was just trying to help the other people. In case there was people who were kind of confused about like, hey man, if you need help on where to go, I got your back. I know, I already knew that. I was just showing people what the door icon looked like. Everyone grab your drink and remember the good, the bad, and the ugly. And let's not let's not blame copium. Copium's a hell of a drug. We don't need to think about it right now. What we need to think about is um here's to Uraji and his quest to be ever healthy. So grab your beer, grab your water, grab your baby, baby water if you would, Asahis, whatever you got. Let's tip it to the back of your neck and say Kampai. To good health, to life, to life, Lakayam. To D's. Alert! The center control point is being captured. Double cool things. Hold on one second, bold get. Two cool things. We've got the man, Victor, frame of travel. What's up, man? We were just cheering good health. How you doing, buddy? I know you were playing just chatting. Tuesday means you were doing uh, picture editing. What's up, Monogatari is peak. Well, howdy there, good sir. Come pie, come pie to you as well, my friend. Of course, I would like to say thank you for the raid. And I also want to say thank you to Ascani, 1986, a great vintage year. And uh, when is the hot sauce meetup? So here's the good news. There's a chance, a very high chance, that Slick Vic, Frame of Travel, is going to be joining the, the fun part of the IRL stream on Saturday. We're going to knock back a few brews. Thank you very much, Max. I very much appreciate that. 
Thanks, buddy. And you're going to be seeing Victor on that channel. Then we're going to find a place, the parts unknown, where we're going to be able to buy, like, hey, chicken nuggets. Listen. Thank you, J-Mac. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. Um, so at the... Uh, we're going to find, like, McDonald's. Not McDonald's. Maybe McDonald's. But we're going to have some... Hot sauce and a IRL location, not this Saturday, but in July. So we're already planning it. We've already got lots of fun. It's going to be a blast. But this Saturday, you guys are going to get a chance to see Vic. Hope your stream was fantastic. Thanks for the raid, buddy. I do very much appreciate that. Uh, we watched the Nintendo Direct, and I don't know. I don't know if it was if it was my my thing, but it was good fun. We were just about to end this stream as well, but I was waiting for Fonzie to resub. Top fellow hot saucy enjoyers premiere our premier smile premier metal premier metal premier metal. <laughs> What's up, Fonzie? How you doing, buddy? Um, we were just waiting on you. So, oh my ass. I'm actually kind of weak with hot sauce, if I'm being fully, fully candid. Thanks for moving that hype train to level two, buddy. But I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge. Very much looking forward to the challenge of it all. Hot sauce, I love, that's the thing though, is I have like three bottles of hot sauce on hand at all times here in the premier household, but I've been trying to work it up. It's gotten better. And do you ever work up the part where it makes you have to uh, use the restroom a lot? Or is that part just part of it? My favorite right now is uh, I have two. Do you want me to show them to you guys? I've been switching them up a lot, but I have two favorite hot sauces at the moment. It's always too hot. I don't think I could do DDR. I have no melody or, or skill or anything. Let me show you my Q my QP. I'll be right back. Give me a second. Oh man, I really want the Aardvark sauces so bad. So bad. Kleben's getting sent some before me. My friend is sending Kleben hot sauce before he would send to me. That damn friend. I'm going to show you Hound 3's artwork even though I haven't updated it yet. Hold it. It's Koopy. Koopy! Here we go. Uh, here we go. Uh, we're going to be hyping this up. All right, here we go. So here's my... What's up, uh, Shiksal23? Thank you. Here we go. Um, This is... Here's my little, my little health hack. Are you ready? Get yourself some Greek yogurt. This is Icos protein, whatever. Greek yogurt, right? Easy to find, cheap. It's in this little canister, however you want to do it. Then what I do is I pour a little of this. Muerte con chipotle. It's not even that great. It's just we don't get a lot of selection here in uh in Japan. This is like three bucks. So you get the salsa de la muerte con chipotle. It means, like, the death or something like that. It's not that bad, but it does have some kick to it. It does have some kick to it. But I, I put a nice little coat of that on this, and then I dip chips, and it's a little, little home-brewed, healthy snack. Uh, my other go-to that I kind of like is uh, this M Mari, M Mary Sharp's habanero pepper. This is the all-purpose... This is the all-purpose sauce... 
it just goes with a lot of a lot of stuff. I've been digging those two lately. Have you tried a hot sauce called The Last Dab made in Kansas City where I'm from? Uh, no. Yes, the Chipotle is very good and it's always sold out. I don't think, which one would you dip with pizza? Uh, I don't know if I would use hot sauce and pizza all the time. But there's a lot of great hot sauces, but I just go to the Caldi. There's like a there's like a little international Caldi store near my house or my apartment. Is wasabi hot sauce to you? Those are pretty those are hot if you get the, the real ones. Um sriracha's good too, but I mean like I'm just saying like these are the two I've been eating lately on my little health kick. It's Caldi is like a international import food store, right? That's all it really is. But I've been I've been trying to grow up my palate. Hey, thanks for the hype train, guys. Appreciate that. Thank you for the resubs and all the fun subs. An ornate door made from a glistening metal. Insert the elegant key. Whoa! <laughs> I've already fought this fucking guy. Crush that dude at the Colosseum. Yeah, I don't want to do the Colosseum without the pale ore. A figure connected to a device. Examine closely. Is that a, just tell me the truth. Is this a boss? Yes or no? Is this a boss? Y or N? Okay, no. Thank you. It's a power. Consumed the shade soul. Tap circle to unleash a more powerful spirit. The spell consumes the same amount of soul with increased power. Gotta sleep, Pete. Have a great stream. Ja, matane. Matane nesne. Abayo. Anything can be a boss if you waste enough time on it. That's true. See you tomorrow, Raz. Pete panicked for a second. I did because I want to go to sleep. I'm tired. That's cool as hell. I might want to start dipping into the magics, you know? About to crash myself, good sir. Have a good rest of the stream. Thank you, Vic. I'll see you Saturday for sure. Uh, also, since you need some essence, you might as well fight Soul Master in his dream. Where's that? Where's the Soul Master? What's what area is that? I'll fight him. I'm not afraid of nobody. I'm not. A, I'm not afraid of nobody. In the Soul Sanctum. Well, great. Um, this is where we can take a break, Ski. Then. PD sleepy. PD sleepy. Oh, okay.
I was hoping... I, yeah, well... Sleepy time. I'm, you know, Vic came in with the timely raid. We said, what's up? We hung out. It's 1.15 in the morning already? We, I can't believe we streamed for... Maybe take a cold shower. Well, here's the thing. I want to, uh... I want to stream again tomorrow. Like a super stream, right? Like, I want to do the, the big one. It's been five and a half hours of... Of, of sword slapping action. It was earlier. It was like the third minute of the stream. So we're going to stop now and sleep then. Right. I'm going to still take a shower. I'm a little bit hungry. I need to eat a little something. And don't forget three hours of... Yes, that's right. It's the it's the, it's the Pete week. It's the summer of Pete. The week of Pete. So let me see really quick who's on my Listerino. Really quick. Shut up, Pete. Haven't seen Mo streaming lately. Have you guys? Wow, this looks fun. We're gonna try we're gonna try this one and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to spell her name right this time. Alright. Well no, we'll go with we'll go with Kaho. We'll go with Shibuya Kaho. She's cool. I was gonna do Onigiri Onigiri Den. Alright guys, I'm gonna take you to Kaho's channel. She's awesome. She's also been getting into She's also been getting into IRL lately, and we can always support her. She's super awesome. And what's up, Keith? Thank you. Remember, be respectful. You're representing not only yourself, but you're representing me too. So a shame on me is a shame on, or a shame on you is a shame on me. So no roaches. She's a pro beat em up player for sure. So you guys be respectful, be cool, be awesome, and then, uh, I don't know what... She's not playing a game right now. She's just hanging out. No no roaches. No roaches. What's up, Steve? I'm gonna see if we can come up with a good raid message in, like, uh, as soon as possible. No roach raid. That's not the one. Let's think of, um... Let's think of a... We got, we got a minute. We got to think really quick. No roach raid. If you say no roaches, don't do it. We have to be respectful. Respectful. There we go. Not. Oh, oh, you know what? Okay, hold on. I got it. I got it. I, okay. <laughs> Where's Cleveland when you need him? Where's Cleavy boy when you need him? Where's Cleavy boy when you need him? Ah, there we go. Premier. Wow. That's safe. That's fun. Premier Wow, that's the one I'm going with. That's the one I'm going with. There we go. There we go. That's the one. It's easy. Get that roach out of here. That's the one. Oh, yes. That's it. Have a good night, guys. Thank you to the mod team. Thank you to uh, all the subs and the bits and the supporters tonight. Thank you to all the lurkers. Thank you to all the chatters. And as always, thank you. Yes, that's right, you, because you contributed to making this stream stay on the air, and I appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Premier Wow's also fine. Have a good one. I got cut off. How do you think the Girlfriend manga will That always happens. Out?